Welcome to Friday night. Welcome to the weekend and welcome to Missed Opportunities. That was much better this time. Good. Wonder. Be- <laughs> oh, great. Thanks. <laughs> this beautiful and snarky. Uh, uh, you jinxed me now. Uh, what channel were we on? Lawful Stupid Cast takes on the Curse of Strahd hardcover here. And uh, with us uh, today, I am your DM, Peter. We have Elena playing the Paladin, Claire. We have Kyle playing the Lizard Folk Druid, Saurive. We have Anime Panda playing the Bard, Strings. We have Sean as Gesualdo de la Rosa. And of course, we have Jade playing the human wizard, Elimus, eating ice cream. So, last time, our adventurers departed the Vistani camp near the Tsar Pool, uh, hung around a spooky crossroads for a bit, where they discovered an artifact buried within a grave after being accosted by many, many spiders. They then spent a good bit of time deciding not to be brave and invest and not investigating a windmill. Um, after a thorough non-investigation of the windmill, they moved on to the city of Valaki, but not before being accosted by a um, what would you call it? A, 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 fl- a murder of scarecrows? I think scarecrows should also be quantified as a murder because that's kind of how it all went down. Um, but nonetheless, they survived and brought Irina to Falaki, where some say she might be safe and more answers might lie as to their own fates and their own hope of surviving in Barovia. Adventurers, you have made your way into Valaki to the Blue Water Inn, a beautiful, warm, two-storied inn in the center of town. There is warmth. There is a blazing fire. There are a number of patrons about, and there is a very flamboyantly dressed half-elven bard spinning stories upon a stage. You have arrived. What do you do? I think I went immediately to the bar to acquire drinks and uh, inquire about um, rooming for the night. I actually, if you guys want to scroll down here, I pulled up a map. You can kind of see this... um... Uh, layout of the bar you're in. There's a nice little, the upper floor kind of hangs out over the top, um, which is what these little pillars are. They're supporting the second story above and inside a couple round chairs. There are some patrons here that are not, um, that are not shown. This is not, this is not quite this deserted. I will fill in a few extras. Who are just kind of hanging around, seeming to enjoy some wine. Do you have fog of war some on? stories? Uh, just I can't scroll all the way down. Middle scroll down. way down yeah. and to the right. Uh. Just while ah. finds the darkest corner and sits in it and glowers. Okay. You seem to have company in your glowering. There are two uh, uh, very rough looking men with bows leaned up against the wall behind them sitting at this table also kind of glowering in the dark they appear to be wearing uh cloaks with uh collars fashioned from wolf's fur you also notice in here um there are a number of wolves heads taxidermied and hanging on the wall most of them fashioned to have a fearful scowl Interesting. Well, as I said, I will approach the bar. Um, and uh, there's a there's a individual there. I presume the proprietor, perhaps. Yes. Um, there's a woman dressed in uh, gray clothing. Actually, a nice uh, fur lined cloak as well. Um, otherwise, just uh, um, seeming to be of. Uh, 
clothes of modest quality what uh, she has striking features though um somewhat sharp facial features and then a very prominent white streak beginning sort of at the middle of her forehead and going back through her hair um it is pulled up in a bun with a little chopstick through it to, to hold it back all right um and she says Welcome to the Blue Water Inn. Hi. Um, I could use drinks for, let's see, myself. One, two, three, uh, five. Five total uh, drinks. Just, I, I guess, a, a, an ale. Whatever, whatever's good. Um, ale, okay. Or wine? I, I don't know. What, what's, your, what's your alcohol of choice here? <laughs> well, you're in Barovia. We, oh, this is uh, wine country, isn't it? We tend to drink wine here, yes. Okay, that's fine. We can do wine. I, well, yeah, whatever's tasty. Um, and uh, do you do you have rooms available for tonight? I think two. We do. I, what, what's, uh, your, what's your rate here? A room for the night, or rather, we have a bunk room and we have a couple private rooms. Okay. Um, uh, pricing is... A, the same. If you'd like to rent a room, they have two beds, it's two silver. To rent a common bed in the uh, in the common room, the bunk room, it will be one silver. Or if you want all four beds in that room, four silver. Okay. Silver per bed, basically. Gotcha. Uh, um, I'll confer with my group and see what everyone's comfortable with. But definitely five wine, or I guess six wine. Maris is around here somewhere. Um, and just for for, my, I'll point out my people very well scattered about we have the, uh, we yeah. have the purple, I'll have the a purple bottle, grape please. mash which is the um sort of the seasonal um fresh pressed lesser fermentation quality or we have a few bottles left of the red dragon crush though we're running out of that it's better quality um let's do two bottles of that one, the nicer one. Pretty well. Two bottles, that will be four silver pieces. Pass it over. She puts some of them on top, kind of works works her way in with the little wine key corkscrew. Pops two of them. Right. Puts them on the bar with a collection okay. of pewter goblets. Uh, Not strings. from around here, are you? I haven't oh. seen you before. Yeah, we're passing through. Oh, shoot. Can I get a seventh glass? Sorry, we have, um, I almost forgot about our charge here. <laughs> um, make sure we give drinks for everyone. Uh, yeah, we're just uh, passing through, uh, helping out a friend. Um, what's, I mean, I guess, maybe you could tell me something. I'm very curious about um, this sort of, festival nature of this town seems like y'all have a lot of uh, <sighs> parties going on well yes of course one has to keep morale up somehow thank goodness uh, to the burgomaster all will be well with him she seems a little <sighs> edgy about that um is per could I perhaps attempt an insight check to see how like serious she's being about that? Or you how may. Perhaps honest. You may. In that uh, situation, it would. Oh, it's nineteen. Wow. Oh, That's, lovely. Yeah, pretty good. Um, it was, if not physical, there was certainly a um, the inflection of her voice was enough to. Uh, just make this a huge eye roll. Mm. She is not approving of these festivals. She finds she seems to find the very idea tedious. All right. Well, I uh, thank her uh, for the uh, the wine, and I'll, I'll ask uh, Strings to help me bring everything to our compatriots and try to sort of corral people to our our lovely wine. Bing ordered around <laughs> even oh, not outside ordered. Was like just not ordered. left my cat no i'm kidding i'm kidding <laughs> she would um she'd she'd hear it and almost uh 
out of nowhere we'll also do another unseen servant to help carry over some wine lovely and she would head on over to i think there's a free table by the bar yeah. So she might look over to Jeswaldo and kind of with her spare hand, like gesture for him to, to come join us. So are you like walking your marionette around with, and then there are like yeah. multiple wine glasses floating through the yeah. air? Yeah, <laughs> pretty much, yeah. I Got it. The two um, men sitting next to me, if I may. What's that? Can I turn to the two men sitting next to me? Sure. Uh, you will cat, uh, You will turn some heads as your... Uh, as you puppet this in this invisible servant through the air, um, it is you, you notice some of the patrons taking notice and watching you very carefully. Um, you hear also the bard uh, or see the bard um, look at you sidelong for a bit longer than you might expect, and then go back to telling his story. Um, I wink just, if I see him looking towards me. Okay. All right, uh, just Waldo. Yes, so there uh, again. Two men sitting next to you, um, you know, rough. One has a scar going all the way down from his forehead across his eye and almost all the way down to his cheek. It looks like his face was nearly bisected at one time. The other has a long bushy beard and is balding and sits very quietly smoking a pipe. So I'm sort of standing against the corner. Mm-hmm. A... I... I do not mean to intrude, but what do you make of this uh, Rictavio fellow? You, the one, the the uh, um, bald one simply looks at you, and and the other one kind of leans forward and sorry about Shoulder there. He doesn't talk much, but um. <laughs> Well, he came to town about a month ago. He's been uh, spinning these stories pretty much nonstop ever since. He seems to be all right, though. It's got some some funny about that carnival wagon he has parked in the stockyards. Yeah, I do not trust him. Anyone that much on display must be hiding something. Interesting theory. Uh, my name is Desuardo, by the way. Evgeny. I have more names, but I've um, I've been informed that they they might not be as appreciated here as I thought they would be. But um, just Waldo is fine. Yes, this uh, Octavio fellow. I think he is not to be trusted. <laughs> but it is nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Is there There's something a lot of else wolves around here. <laughs> Is it a you know, with the name like the Blue Water? I, I would have seen, I would have thought more fish, but I see many wolves. And oh, I remember there was mm, there was some talk of some sort of wolves head jamboree. Is that have to do with this place? <laughs> well, yes. Well. It's the latest of the Burgomaster's festivals, or it was at least. Carried around wolves on heads. It took us quite a long time to accumulate all of them. You see, this is our handiwork, most of them at least, on the walls. And if you've seen the ones on the pikes outside, oh, the hunters. Burgomaster offers a bounty on, on the wolves that prowl around here. Why wolves? I mean, I understand, but are they the only problem? Or the bears, other beasts of prey, that sort of thing. Because yeah. the wolves are particularly bad. Well, I can't say I've seen a bear around here, but uh, you traveled here, right? I did. From where? Uh, from Barovia. And did you hear wolves howling? I'm pretty sure we did. Although... Uh, one of our companions sometimes changes into a wolf, so I might have been confused. He what now? Oh, he changes. He... And which one would that be? He likes to pretend he is a wolf. Uh, he's very good at it. He's sort of an actor. Um, he, uh, 
yes, it, it allows him to commune with nature. He is um, very much into that sort of thing. I don't see him right now. You know what? I think maybe he passed on. What's he look he's like? Here. Uh, currently, he looks like a frog. It was very nice to meet you. Good evening. They just kind of nod and lean back and keep an eye on you. There's a there's a splash as a frog jumps out into a wine glass from from uh, uh, Claire's hood. <laughs> Is it possible as I'm walking by to sort of jostle Rictavio? Like, or maybe like kick a stool that he's got his foot on or something like that? You are so rude. <laughs> <laughs> he you know is... What? A very bad man, I can tell, just by looking at him. So he's up here. This is him. Um, All right, so he's out of, so definitely out of my way. Fair enough. I won't go out of my way to inconvenience him. Okay. But I would think about it. <laughs> Fair enough. Jeswaldo, I do not understand what your problem with this man is. Well, look at him. He's such uh, so flamboyant and smiley and happy. When was the last time you looked upset. into a mirror? I look into a mirror every morning when I do my mustache. Uh-huh. Okay. I feel like I need a bath. Does anyone else need a bath? I wonder if we can get a bath here. Maybe some new clothes. Um, I did, I wanted to check in with you guys. They, um, they have rooms here. Um, basically, we could either get, um, uh, there are some private rooms that are available, um, or there's like a bunk house area. Either way, it's one silver a piece a night. Um, seems like a reasonable price, just kind of depends on whether or not we want any significant amount of privacy. Uh, just while there, you said you were paying for drinks and rooms oh, yes, tonight, absolutely. Right? Definitely. Would, would you mind if I had my own room? Um, no, no, I wouldn't. Although, don't you think we should check on the quality of the beds first? Maybe the beds in the bunk bed are nicer. I don't much care about How do you propose we check on the quality of these beds? <laughs> hey, we could just feel them, I think. So, just to be clear, they have, there are two rooms that have two beds. There is one room that has four beds, and then there is a private room as well. And the, does that private room private have one room. bed? One bed, yes. I, I I would like the private room, yes. If if okay. All right. I don't I, I, need I don't rest that. well around others, you see. I'm um, and I need to be real well rested. I understand, but but don't, but don't you think we should offer the private room to the woman that we are supposed to be guarding? No. I would actually feel more comfortable if we could keep an eye on her directly. Um, I'm sure Maris and Irina and I can be comfortable in one of the other rooms. I I can sleep on the floor. They can have the beds in one of the rooms that has two. I suppose we just need a bucket of water for him. <laughs> you see a, a frog floating on its back in the wine. I'm going to gently poke and just make sure he hasn't passed out. There's, yeah, Marie kind of leans some, into some me twitching. Not dead. Some twitching. Oh no, I see frogs do that when they've died. And she sorry. joins in on the poking. <laughs> sorry, don't 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 overdo it in there, okay? Frogs you drink through their skin, so like he's just absorbing wine into this tiny frog body. Is it, is it just me? Or is he getting bigger and the wine getting smaller? I, I don't don't bother him. It's not easy being green. I will go to the bar <laughs> and I will um, uh, put down two gold pieces for uh, this will be for um, anything me and my companions wish to drink or eat and a room for the night two gold is that alright? Oh, that is very generous of you um, mm. it is a trifle yeah. do you suppose I could have um, some fresh water for a bath and um, is there a tailor in town? Uh, yes Yes, um, we could find something. Um, it's, there, there is one, yes. And we could, yes, we could. Um, well, I'm sure we can have a wash basin brought to your room. Uh, which rooms are you looking to rent? I think all of them. Oh. Right? Yes. We need one for 
that lady and one for those two ladies. And then I suppose one for that man and myself. Oh, and there's another lady. The other lady can go with us, it's fine. Oh, right. I'm not so good at the math. I think I, hmm. could someone help me please? Uh, okay, I, I'll come over and just help sort out the math. So one private room, the double bedroom, uh, the other double bedroom, and I think that should be fine. Is that fellow staying here as well? You're pointing to Octavio, aren't you? I am. He's kind of now up at the end of the bar. Um, he's finished his performance and is grabbing a glass of wine himself. I clap his performance. Um, he stays here certain nights, but now that the private room is rented, he'll have to go elsewhere. We ah, let excellent. him stay there if it's not otherwise booked. But um, I will be booking it for the rest of the week. Mm. You don't, Giswaldo. We don't know if we're. Do you hear to that, Rictavio? You're gonna have to find another place tonight. Oh, I suppose you got to do the business. Um, at least I keep them entertained while they are here. That's great. And he he kind of turns a, like a bit of a wobbly head down the bar and raises a pewter glass in your direction. I'll raise mine in return and then give Giswaldo a nice little nudge with my... My, <laughs> my unseen very servant funny. will raise my glass in return. Very funny. Very, you will see. You will see. Um, are you doing anything to um, hide your disdain there, Giswaldo? No, it's fully on display. Got it. I'm trying um, to overcompensate with friendliness to to offset sure. <laughs> Giswaldo's poor behavior. He will uh, kind of look, eyes will narrow in your direction for a second and then, okay, okay. How about, uh, you seem like interesting people. Uh, you have uh, some tricks going on too, eh? Tricksy people. Uh, I like the tricks. Uh, I want to talk to you, eh? A few uh, few bottles of wine uh, on me. We sit around a bit and uh, I get to know who you are. Is that good? No. I have, we'll have absolutely wine, no problem with that, Jez Waldo. That sounds really fun, doesn't it? And he points over and says, I think we'll be a need in that table. Uh, and uh, the a couple of people kind of I'm gonna off and clear out of the way. For I'm him. gonna tr um, turn to Jez Waldo and say uh, much more quietly, like much closer to his ear. If you don't like him, isn't it better to get to know your enemy? No, it's so better you, to kill him. You know, so that you know what his weaknesses might be. I can see what his weaknesses are already. Look at him. He has no regard for uh, subtlety. He is um, not very handsome. He is uh, probably very, very poor with self-defense. And I don't like the way he smells. I, I, DM, I'm, I'm curious, just sort of objectively speaking, how attractive is Rictavio? Um, he is... So it's interesting. He looks like a middle-aged half-elf. So he's, you know, looking probably 50 plus years, uh, you know, on the scale of human aging, but um, pretty sharp features. He, he's got, though, he's got a bit of makeup on. It looks like he's smoothed out his skin a bit. Um, he's not particularly attractive, just sort of average. Okay. There's an intelligence behind the eyes, though, and kind of a little sparkle there that is uh, intriguing. But sure. he's not he has very boring eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna go join Rick Tavio and uh, beckon over the rest of our compatriots if they would be interested in joining. Hey, I, I get my marionette to give Chiswaldo a large glass of wine. <laughs> Thank you, Does it have a frog in it? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, here, there's a frog in my drink. <laughs> or, or a lemon, because he's being rather bitter. 
<laughs> I uh, I'm just gonna eye him up and down, and then keep Me? looking at just yeah, both of you, oh. and see if there's any resemblance. Oh, I'd be insulted if I knew what you were thinking. <laughs> so, despite the uh, rivalry that seems to have sort of emerged, there sort of isn't. Um, though, well, Gisualdo's form is is very uh, fit and masculine. This man's very buttoned up. Um, he, his, he sits with his back pretty straight. Um, almost looks a little bit tight wound at times too, despite his gestures. Uh, he, his clothes are, like I said, sort of like Jester's clothes, um, a bit of a Harlequin-esque thing going on, but uh, not particularly over the top. Um, is there something specific you're looking for, for um, the comparison? Um, no, obviously just maybe from this, uh, you know, was he originally from the same area as Trisvaldo, for example? Um, go ahead. Uh, it'd be interesting. Uh, I mean, without asking, I'd, I'd never know. So, Right, right. It's hard to, yeah, if you don't <clears> know <throat> from either with Trisvaldo's land, it's hard to say. Though the accents aren't that similar. Um, okay. His is strange. One, yeah, one's Mario and the other one's, yeah. Yeah. What would I, what is the Italy analog in Faerun? I don't actually know that. <laughs> no. Okay, look at this. Uh, oh, do we need another seat for the invisible servant here? Yes. No. no or should I, I say, I unseen servant? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, she just drank some wine. You see what I mean? Shush, just Waldo. A group of, uh, we've got a lot of uh, secrets sitting around the table, huh? I suppose you probably could count yourself among that number. Uh, anyone could, uh, huh? But uh, this is the one in particular. So, I want to know, what, uh, what are you doing here? Um, Passing uh, by? Uh, yeah. I, I'm just gonna quickly glance over at um, Irina. Does she, how comfortable does she seem in this situation right now? Um, so she has her hood up, kind of concealing this, you know, really flowing red hair that marks her, uh, or that she's quite recognizable by. She's kind of tucked it up and put it under a hood, and she's sitting there uh, drinking a glass of wine and seeming just very interested in the conversation. Okay. Um, not particularly worried. You saw her um, actually laughing and quite enjoying the stories that he was telling before. Um, she seemed a little bit charmed by his performance. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, like my friend Strings here said, uh, we're passing through. We've come from Barovia. Um, came up here to check out what's going on. Um, sort of curious generally speaking as to the state of things um how perhaps safe or unsafe this area might be relatively speaking of course well uh, it is a Valaki. it's the biggest city and uh is you know the medical master says all will be well <laughs> but do you really believe that well, uh, eh, you know, uh, who am I to uh, disagree? I'm just here to uh, bring a little uh, happiness. Oh, that uh, reminds me of uh, strings, you say. Uh, strings with the magic tricks. Uh, that's an interesting name. Where do you come from? You look even a little a bit familiar. Uh, do I recognize him? Now that he said that. You do not. Okay. Um, Barovia. Um, you recognize me? How? I mean, you might have seen me do some performances, but performances. Uh, who do you uh, perform with? I had a 
group, but I was more of a solo act, you see. Ah. A bit like yourself, you could say. Yeah, I understand. So Barovia, where did you live? Uh, I lived in a uh, it's a small group. Uh, we traveled a lot. We never really settled down in one place. Hmm. Traveled around a bit nomadic, you know, passing here and there, in and out. Is that what you did? You've asked many questions. I think mm. it is time for you to answer some. Very nosy. I just want to know the very interesting people here. You know how much uh, interesting a shoulder is back there. You know to talk about anything. I, uh, I uh, kill the wolf. Uh, kill wolf. Put on the wall and put on spike. Uh, it's... Well, if it's so disinteresting here, then why are you here? Maybe it is time for you to be a nomad and move along. Oh, come on, a friend. I am not your friend. I bought you all a bunch of wine. Uh, I thought this is how you make friends. Uh, or is that uh, not how you do it? Uh, where you uh, are, are you... one of many names, I would assume. Where are you from, good sir? Um, we could do the questions game. I ask one, you ask one, and we, we go back and forth. Where are you from? Hmm. Elsewhere. Not from here. Like you. That's not, that's not really fair. I gave a name. I know you did. But I know where you're from. His eyes narrow a bit as he looks in your direction. I down my glass of wine. Hmm. Indeed. I suspect you, you are, are the one interested. leading these uh, wonderful people around. Are you their guide? Showing them the ropes. <clears throat> Showing them the ropes. Me? She's, she's just along. Not so much a guide as a, a companion. A friend. I'm actually new here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Anyways, well, I'm not that am I, um... so... You can ask other people questions. Oh. Oh, I have the permission. Eh? <laughs> uh, and who is the frog in the glass? Why does he not turn back into his person now? Eh? Oddly, not a euphemism. <laughs> 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 um, sorry. He'll, he'll, uh, he'll uh, kick out of the glass and kind of flop on the table. Okay. Ah. Huh. Are there any flies around? Uh, make a perception check with disadvantage. <laughs> you are he's still drunk. cursed. And drunk. Yeah, he's a cursed uh, frog. I have plus one percent. Well, wait. Uh, shoot, do I use the frog's perception or mine? I don't remember. Use the frog's if you're in the frog form. All right. Did that work? Yes. 13. Okay. Um, there are a few, yes. I will try I'm mostly buzzing around what seems to be a bit of spilled grease towards the end of the table. I am laser locked on the flies and I'm going for more uh, meals. Okay. Um, lean over to Elima. Do you suppose we should warn him about all the wolves' heads? I am going to address Rick Tavio. Um, he, he likes being an animal form, it seems. Um, allows him to have some fun. He's also really tired. He's been hanging out in my hood all day. Hmm. It is of his own will, then? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The frog is, like, not jumping very well. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> hmm. Okay. So... So what do you find? You wanted interesting to ask me a us? question. Yeah, why are you so interested in us? And I look deep into his eyes. Oop. Are you using the ability? Yeah, DC sixteen. Okay. Um, I have a result of a twenty-six. <laughs> yeah. And he laser locks with you and says. 
I think that is quite enough of that. Of what? Let's put an end to this uh, right now. I'm just asking a question. <clears throat> I know better than that, Enchanter. Don't try that again with me. And tell me, why do you have this Vistani woman with you? She's not Vistani, she's my sister. She... Uh, Strings, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe she was never properly Vistani. I was never initiated. I hung around with them, but I'm not one of them. You never and took that last step into would the mist. What difference would it make if she were? Hmm. Clearly, friend, you have not been in Barovia very long. No, we're not from Barovia. We are from elsewhere, like hmm. yourself. Hmm. Anyways, how did you know that I'd been hanging around with them? No one is nomadic in this land except Zivistani and perhaps myself but hmm. my name is Rudolf van Richten now I ask you very kindly to keep that to yourself certainly any particular reason we heard that name yet go ahead and make a history check Dun, dun, dun. Did, I, did I also do that? 18. Sure. So we've got an 18 and a 14. Neither of you are familiar with that name. Hmm. You say that name like it's something we should know. No, I suppose not. But I say it to you as a gesture of goodwill. Because, well, you truly have come from outside the mists, yes? Yep. So you know you are quite trapped here. Your souls will suffer eternally should you choose to die. So we've heard. I have come here to kill the monster. Oh. I see we share a sort of profession. Wait, no, no, no. You came here of your own will? Or were you taken by the beasts? No. I came here of my own will. So Following where from? Just outside of Waterdeep. That's where Maris and I came from. Hmm. God, we must have, like, so passed you... each other. Ah, well. I've been here for longer than you, I would think. Hmm, sounds like it. We've Indeed. only been here a few days. So this this whole persona, this Rictavio fellow, this ridiculous storytelling buffoon this is an act to gather the information yes hmm. well how right sheepish then. does look just well do look now <laughs> it was a very good act yeah you seem quite affected no i i was not affected by it i was was fooled. You were affected. Um, so you came here intentionally with the purpose of killing I'm going to say very quietly, Strahd? <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Thunder uh, strikes. Uh, Rocks while everyone dies. Um, um, <laughs> yes. So you knew about him from outside. 
My son joined a group of Vistani and came through the mists years ago. What was he his name? Also... Oh, his name was uh, was uh, Eric. I know an Eric. Um, no. Okay. This would have been before your time. Okay. So Vistani can leave the mists? Of course. I was under the understanding that no one could leave. Water deep, apparently. See, as the servants of Strahd, they can come and go as they please. They can wander. Hmm. Did they have what to made return? you decide to not take the step into the mists? I fear the mists. If I'm being honest with you, I'll tell you that one. As well you should. And I'm not going to go against that. So I just said then? Yeah, I'm not going to initiate myself by doing something so foolish. Hmm. I see. To be honest, the only reason I'm here is because I fell asleep while they did it. And you see like anger kind of go over Marie's face for like a split second and then it dissipates. Do I lucky one then? Who knows what would have become of you had you not left with this group? I don't know. It well, didn't seem so bad. No, there are some good people there. <laughs> I am not so sure. But go on. You know of these tricks, as that you call them. Do you perhaps have one like this? And she'll do Mage Hand. And I want to see if it does Strahd's Hand. This time, it is Skeletal. Huh. Interesting. As she does it, she looks at it and goes, Well, not exactly what I was expecting, but... Do you at least have this ability? <laughs> um, he will um, just kind of smile and look back and forth and he will uh, bring his fingertips together, lower his head and whisper a few syllables and you will feel the ground beneath begin to <laughs> shake for just a moment, like a mild tremor. Some of the patrons kind of look up and look around and Excuse stops. Me. And yeah. I the, cast uh, fireball. No. <laughs> the, the tremors as I'm like drunkenly going after these flies make me fall off the table and I'll take one point of damage and turn back into my lizard okay. form. Am I am I still drunk? Because I, I don't know how that would work. Do, do, yeah, that's a good question. Because now do, I'm much larger than I was as a do, frog. But, but do conditions transcend? The oh, fair wild enough. Shape? Fair enough. Probably. Yeah. Okay. You're you're still uh, reeling a bit from it. Um, okay. The, a few have been distracted by the rumbling, but a couple of the pat patrons see this and hightail it out the front door. Amazing! <laughs> Amazing! This man they just uh, he created a strange. Thing from a frog. I'll, um, I'll help Sauri up and go ahead and make a uh, make a performance or uh, persuasion or deception check of your choices. Deception, Octavio jumps. It would well. He will jump up on the table with a bit of a flourish. Um, it probably deception. It's the same yeah. modifier either way. All right. So we'll make it deception. deception. Um, Ooh. with a nice. critical. Success. Say Pretty good. And Octavio will make a flourish and a bow, and a couple of the people will just kind of look and say, This guy's good, huh? And go back to their drinks. It seems like it's getting a bit later in the tavern, or later, um, and most of the patrons are 
a bit too drunk to pay or to have noticed or are um, beating to head home anyway, though giving you guys the longest of side eyes as they do so. Oh, Jeswaldo, see, you can work with your enemies. Uh, no, no, it was all an act. I knew he was, uh, I knew he was not who he claimed to be. Incidentally, mm-hmm. if you think that trick was really impressive, you should see what he can do. He changes into a wolf. Hmm. How loud did you say that? <laughs> yeah, when as soon as he says it, I kick his leg under the table. Ow! What? If I like look at the. I, with my mage hand still out, I like point to the wolf's head. I would be careful about saying that uh, around here. It does the, seem um, to be a point of contention. The wolves, the wolves, as you say, are a problem, and um, they are known to be the servants of the devil himself. Interesting. You know. We have a, a bit of a connection with this devil ourselves, do we not? He has been very much in our line of sight since we have arrived. Indeed. And, and just to acknowledge, what was that that you did? Ah, just a bit of salmaturgy, my dear. Nothing more. Um, interesting. So, so no, no mage hand then. <laughs> <laughs> Not one of my talents, no. Um, if I may, uh, Rudolph or Victavio, I guess we should probably keep that going. Um, if you came to Barovia here with the intent of bringing down the monster, the big cheese. Um, what what makes you so sure that you're up for the task? It sounds like he's fairly powerful. Well, it is very true, yes, but I have learned that at times the, the type of creature he's that he is, he must, he occasionally rests, sometimes even for years at a time, in one place, in one place inside the castle. Now, I have not yet been able to get inside, but I'm working on that, and I have discovered that a stick to the heart will end the creature when it is in its resting place. I have proven it. You've and he takes a long drink before. of wine. Did you have a friend my turn or something? My son. Oh, my apologies. Oh, my condolences. Yeah. Thank you. Thinking back on what we saw in the uh, the yeah. church, definitely feeling the sorrow on that one. From that moment on, ending this monster has been all that has mattered to me. So I came here. I stuck his Vistani servants. I plan to, well, if you would be interested, I have a plan to cause quite a bit of chaos to his servants outside of town. There is a camp and a little surprise in the wagon I have here in town. Oh, there's a camp of Vistani outside of town? Indeed there is, yes. Just south of the town. And, mm-hmm. Hmm. Where's uh, this out of character? Where's the one with the child we've got to search for? That, uh... Same one. Mm, I think it's one and the same. It, it, yeah, yeah, it's this one. Marie looks to um, Alimus, um, a little bit worried about the the sister that we left with Stani. Um, could you say a little bit more about what it is you're planning to do? I have been training this very fearsome animal. And uh, if I can release it in the right place, it will know to hunt them. 
Oh. What animal? It's an enormous cat with swords for teeth in the front. Have I heard of this creature? Go ahead and make a nature check. I'm so N tempted not to more turn into... <laughs> 18. Um, he seems to be describing a saber-toothed tiger. Well, where'd you get one of them from? Oh. Well, very far up... Uh, uh, very far up north, yes. Um... In the frozen lands. Yeah, ice wind. They would just slaughter it. They seem capable fighters. Why would they not just kill this creature? Well, we could cause a lot of damage. There's Kill a few of them, and there's women the and ones children that get away are camps. scattered, and and they cannot uh, enact any of their cruelty anymore. From at least from that camp, uh, is there not women I... and children in those camps? Well, and yes. what cruelty do you speak of? Well. Out of curiosity, how long did you think you would last in that camp, not becoming one of them? How long before they give you to the devil? As one of his brides? Huh? I don't think that was ever a plan, to be honest. And I think, I think if it was a plan, then Elenka would have done that instantly. I, I want to kind of turn so that Alimus can hear me i don't know if he's sitting, well i'm assuming he's sitting close to me because i'm going to turn and, and just say lightly um i'm sitting next to you that's that that's where um the missing child is from the card reading hmm. i mean if he's planning to do this we need to get there fast very just under my breath and trying to kind of like kind of like this okay so that he doesn't see Um, Do I notice it? You can make a, a, a check to try and communicate that. I'd probably be uh, stealth. That will be difficult. You're sitting across the table from him, and mm -hmm. he seems very perceptive. So. May I assist with a distraction? Sure. Uh, Claire, make either a deception or um, stealth check. I'll make a deception. I'm significantly better at that. <laughs> Just a quick question. I can assist with a stealth check, but no. Oh, wait, yes, I can. Never mind. Yes. Uh, I so just a quick question. It, it was to... this... Sorry. Sorry. It, it, it was the sister that we left with the Vistani, correct? Yeah. Who was already having issues with that. Yeah. Um, Shit. <laughs> with, um, with the assistance, do I roll with advantage? Or what? What's the technique? I believe just Waldo is not trained in. I am. I am in in deception. I am actually uh, oh, proficient. Oh, okay. Then roll. Then roll with advantage. Yes. Okay. Um, I will also say for Mary, your time among the Vistani, you you've lived with them for years, and you didn't ever feel necessarily you've bullied, sure, but at least with that group that you were with, never threatened, um, and like any group. There were some whose motives you questioned. There were some who wandered off and didn't come back, but that's just the nature of Barovia. Evil is something you didn't necessarily think of them. Yeah, so like you, it was never... They were adopted family, but still many of them were family to you. Yeah. So. Yeah, she uh, doesn't that's... understand what he means by cruelty at all. That was at 17 on Deception. Okay, he will look at you and just make hard eye contact as you whisper. Okay. I thought we were being open here. Mm, we're still a little bit confused because you speak of these people like they're evil. Well, we've not seen yes, anything evil from them. Yes, I don't understand. I've been with them for years. Hmm. And with any group of people, there is bound to be good and evil. They cannot all be evil. A blanket statement like that is, uh, well, is evil in itself, I would think. Are and I was very much the sure bottom. That you know what you're saying and what you're doing? Maybe I you are striking out at someone who hurt you and you wish to hurt him any way you can. 
What were you going to say, Mary? Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> Mary kind of looks at <laughs> just Waldo, like, wasn't that kind of what you were doing? To <laughs> like that kind of like, okay, all right. Um, <laughs> and then, and then looks back to, um, to Rudolph, just, um, I was very much the, the, the bottom of the list in, in popularity and was not, liked by some of the members but i was never threatened i never saw an evil presence within there so if you could elaborate i would appreciate it elaborate very well my son ran away with them yes and would not become one of them and so they gave them, they gave him to the vampire. Right, but you've got to understand that I was in that same position and I was not given. Maybe this is of the past for Stan group and not the current. You might be lashing out on someone who doesn't even, isn't even alive anymore. Go ahead and make a um, persuasion check with advantage. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. It's the compounded uh, efforts here of Jiswaldo and Panda and Mary. Uh, 18. Okay. Mary Onette. Uh, Mary uh, Onette. Anyway, he will sit back for a bit. I take his wine, sip it, and look a bit thoughtful. And. As much as it, it pains me to think that we are living in a land that seems to be controlled by some horrible demon of a, well, a you know what. Um, if that is the reality of your situation, don't you think it makes sense for some people to try to get by as best they can? Again, no doubt some of them have been corrupted, but probably you'll find that anywhere you go in this place, huh? <sighs> you, you seem like a good points. man. You seem like does a good he, does man. He, seem like a good man? he does. I don't think he really wants to harm women, children, and other innocents. Do you? Because then that would make you evil, surely. And maybe just as bad as the demon himself. But then I don't think that's you. Watch yourself, mage. But your point is taken. I do not mean any offence. I just mean to make a statement. I'm sure you would not want to live without on your conscience. I feel your loss for your for your son. I really do. My purpose here has been singular so far. So, you are the second best chance that I have to complete what I must do. I think our purposes align more than you think, but I will not go and slaughter innocent people to do so. Claire, mm. Claire, do you think maybe he could help us find this Arabelle? If, if he is so keen on um, being a good person, that might be a good place to start. Perhaps. Um... And also, we ask you not send in these creatures to the Vistani camps, especially since we left his sister there. If, if I may, um, as sort of a return gesture of goodwill, perhaps, um, in, in both a sort of support to my friend's argument here that not all of these Vistani are perhaps as bad as you think, we were given um, in somewhat cryptic terms, um, advice on how to counter Strahd from one of the Vistani's own. Um, given five tasks or things to find. Um, and indeed, we actually came upon one of those fairly quickly afterwards. So I've, we have no reason to believe that this information is false. <laughs> what trap did you walk into after that? Huh? No trap. No trap, just uh, an item of power. 
There were spiders, of though. true assistance, yes, but the spiders oh, were a natural occurrence. Challenges, maybe. What? What item? I have yet to about? identify um, it. I need a pearl. Yeah. We we are still figuring that out. The, the point that I'm trying to make here is that um, one of the next steps in this um, sort of for lack of a better word, quest for assistance against Shrad um, involves, we believe, the camp of Vistani that you've described. Um, we have intelligence that there is a child who has gone missing, a child who surely has committed no wrong, has no reason to be hurt. Um, we believe that the key to getting whatever it is that we need at this point is to save her and to return her to her people. Um, and I think it might be a good perhaps test run of cooperation between the t us and yourself if you were maybe to assist us with that. Any enemy of Strahd, I would assume, is a friend of ours. And I'm certainly willing to act on that. Perhaps you are right in that, but this item, I forgive my curiosity, but uh, what, what is it? I can show it yeah. to you, but you're not touching it. I think it. I've, I've got it in my pack. Do you, I'm going to look around the group to sort of see how people are feeling about sharing it with Victavio. You can show it to him. Oswaldo? Oh, I think... Sure, I... I don't know. I... But it's just well to know of magic. Just, but before, before we do that, may I just ask one question? Obviously, uh, being bitten by a, you know, what is very bad. What is your opinion of those who have been bitten? Um, <clears throat> what exactly are you referring to? No, I'm just curious. I mean, obviously there are, you know what, and then there are those that have been bitten. And I, I was just curious if you consider them to be a threat. I, I want to, like, Marie attention draws to Jesualdo, and she wants to look at him and see if she can see any bite marks, potentially. Or, okay. like, Make she's a perception like, check. She's like, hold on a second. Jesualdo's one of them. I always have what? been. Sorry if uh, has been very, like, squinty Kind of, because he doesn't have eyelids, but mm -hmm. trying to pay attention. And he's just going to cast Lesser Restoration on himself to get rid of the poison, the alcohol. Okay. <laughs> um, so I, got concentrate. I got a 14 perception. All right. Uh, just, Waldo, is your bite mark covered? Um, I would suppose I know yes. about it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I... I think we don't. We all know about it. Yeah, I don't know uh, about I, I, it. She oh, wasn't there yeah, for the fight. strings wasn't uh, there. Right, wasn't there for the fight. <laughs> I gave him some. I haven't got a clue. Yeah, yeah, you did a little poultice. Yeah, Marie. Marie has um, no idea. Fourteen. Yeah. I, I was just. Where, where do you think it is on your character? If it's on your upper shoulder, I know you kind of like to, you know, so I also let the I collar also... loose a bit. Yeah, so it's I, probably yeah, I'm gonna a little say, visible. I'm going to say it, it is. Possibly perceptible. Okay. It's up to you, DM, as to whether or not it is uh, a fourteen is enough. A fourteen. I if you're, not, if say... you're not trying to hide it, I think fourteen's enough. So okay. I I did not watch the the because I didn't want to yeah. spoil stuff for myself. I genuinely didn't know, and I thought you were kidding when you went. Did she see it? I thought. Yes, Waldo kidding. has bite marks. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Um. So Marie sees it. She probably looks up at him but then just puts her hand on her he's fine her, her, her rapier and, and then just turns to um to claire and just says um well i'm i'm for showing him i don't mind and to be fair he's i've cornered him in anyways 
because he's sat in the corner and she's like blocking his exit basically <laughs> Fair enough. okay i i'll extract the pendant um from my pouch no no no, no. i wouldn't answer first oh sorry keeping it in my hand what what was it that you asked we had a lot i wanted of... to know what he what his opinion of, was of those who have been bitten but are not vampires themselves not turned i was actually referring more to our charge yeah that's what yeah. i thought to myself mm. Mm. Unless he has uh, joined the victim of all their blood and uh, made them quite uh, well. The process cannot be complete with one bite. Unless there is a very, very weak target. How many bites would you say it takes? Well, three is usually the amount. It is usually what will do it. Just something about that number, too. Don't know. But uh, <laughs> that is for the vampires. Now, the werewolves and other lycanthropes. Uh, yeah, We've seen one. Wolves. Ah, yes. Mm, the wolf. We thought maybe it was him himself. But he's not a werewolf. No, he has no. the ability he to change into both. other beasts, indeed. But he is no werewolf. Ah, the werewolves are, well, I, I think they are more towards the western parts of this land. But there are others too. Ones that can turn into birds. Really? Everybody slowly turns to sorry. <laughs> yeah, everyone's like. <laughs> I, I, as he's describing that, I'm like, what is a werewolf? It is a form of lycanthropy. It is a curse that um, forces the uh, bearer to turn into a different creatures. Uh, usually, just one in particular. For instance, a werewolf can turn into a man, into a werewolf, but unlike you, Druid, he can do something different. He can become a hybrid in between. Mm. Half man, half wolf. Very half dangerous. lizard. Interesting. Mm. But this creature we found was like very it. intelligent as a wolf. A very large wolf. You could see the sparkle in its eyes. But you, you just said that he, Strahd, can shapeshift. Mm. So sort maybe. of in a similar we don't know if it was him but I mean it's pretty obvious that it may be hmm. Marie's well, guard is down She's, her eyes are sparkling at this conversation so interesting so you have seen a wolf like this then yes mm. very large yes very large as big as me when well, I'm when a you... large wolf That's <laughs> okay, so see. sit down before you hurt yourself it could have been either, but um, in my experience, they tend to fight in their hybrid form. This one avoided fighting. It was more like playing with his food. Oh, I don't I like that analogy. Mm. I, I do have a question. You mentioned turning into to birds. Is there a particular bird of choice? Is it any? Yeah. I do suspect that there is a unique kind of lycanthropy here in Barovia. He, he looks around again, so they call. Um, that some can turn into ravens. <laughs> That's good to know. I think that they exist around here too. In fact, this very inn, I suspect some are hiding or are up to something. I think it's, I've I heard. I've not been able to find them out, though I have tried very hard. I've heard they don't like silver. Claire, put a silver true. sword. Yes, yes, Show him yes. the silver sword on your. Put it on the table. Oh, he will I, take I, it and kind of look it up and down. Like, oh, so he oh. doesn't. I was hoping he might reel back from it, but yeah. No, he takes <laughs> it up and looks at it. He says, "Very fine craftsmanship. Yes, this would hurt I, any lycanthrop. Very bad." I pull out the the original raven that I had <laughs> tamed and killed. Uh, and you still like, have put, that? Put that away. No, that's so raven. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't. It, it just happened. I haven't had a chance to eat them all. Oh, well, you must understand that is very bad luck here. Yes, he's yes, found yes. out. He's cursed in some way. Look at his quite terrible. He killed a whole her a whole flock of them. He was a very handsome oh man my. just a few days ago. <laughs> 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 Marie looks at Sarive and just Walter and is like, "Really? <laughs> really? No." I, I'm, I'm just shaking my head. I'm Marie going. No. 
not at all. You um, have all been very open with me, and I thank you for that. Um, perhaps I can provide you with a favor. In return, wine is fine. you share with me everything that Vistani woman told you. Okay. In all detail. Hmm. And you let me examine what it is that you found. Oh, that's, yes? a, that's a mighty, a mighty ask. I mean, what have you got to offer? What are you offering in return? I think you would have to accompany and join us on our mission and potentially leave his own for that. Um, mm. Nothing so quite so uh, well. Nothing quite so hefty. No. He takes he takes out a little journal uh, and puts a little pair of spectacles on and starts to look through it. Um, would you come over here, my lizard friend? He kind of <laughs> and he kind of looks sure. about and um, Murray kind of gets up to give the skeet over to <laughs> yeah to the Sari. tavern has mostly emptied at this point and he's, he he reaches out a hand to you and says um and says omnisis obscurum adete and pushes a hand to you and it kind of knocks you back for a second and <laughs> for Do I know a what second doing? it feels like you can't breathe you can make a arcana check with your reaction mm -hmm. And twelve, you feel the curse lift from you. Oh! I kill him, and he kind of <laughs> he kind of flips through this book a little more. Boop, boop, puts his little pocket book back in his breast pocket. Very well. May I see the artifact? I I will show. Don't touch. Yeah, mm, that was not a deal. Examine it, please. That was what, what we said he... before. When we were originally talking about it, my well, astute friend here. Come on now, here... no, come on now. He, he, he just that was impressive. All right, I... I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep a, my hand wrapped around the the chain that it's on, but he mm -hmm. can examine. Is that something you can teach? <sighs> Perhaps to one of you here. I'm sort of. Uh, feeling myself out a little bit, you know, and then uh, yeah. I many thanks. I pull out my my club and just like hand it to him. Oh, that is not necessary. Um, yep. I'll... Thank you, though. Very my flute, kind. my my human femur bone flute. Yep. And he... I'll uh... I'll let him take the the amulet. To and is that is that our choice or your choice of who gets to learn it? Depends if it's divine or arcane. Well, um, obviously, you have some kind of abilities, but tell me, is this come from your art? The abilities that you have? Does it come like a wellspring from your being? Yes, I would assume so. Based on what I have seen with your puppet. Yes. Then I cannot teach you. But the ability may come to you in time, from what I have learned. However, this one, the enchanter, I could teach you. I would love to share knowledge if you have the skill. Now, this, ah, pure platinum. Hmm. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> it is a fine object. You said you need Time a on pearl. the back. Wizard. Yes, I have the spell, but I do not have the. When we when we got whisk here, my some of my belongings were missing. Do you happen to know any women who uh, wear pearls, or men? Ah, um, well, certainly uh, the lady Fiona Wachter in town, the uh, burgomaster's wife too. Fiona. But um, we could also just try to find you a pearl. That would be great. Oh, okay. Good. That's I will not travel with you, but perhaps by the morning I could find you this thing. I'm very curious. You will share with me every detail of this, yes? And also you promised, you would tell me exactly what the 
uh, the Vistani fortune teller taught you. No, 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 no. I oh. do not recall promising. We, we did. We never we did promised. Make... No, it, we never that... said. In return I... for restoring your friend, yeah. isn't that what's the it, deal? It all did happen a little fast, but friends, I think that Sarif's curse being lifted is a rather large gift. And potentially teaching would... me that gift as well. So well, uh, the, the only problem I have is that um, since requiring that knowledge, the uh, the few people that I've spoken to, or the one, made me think that that knowledge itself is extremely valuable. And um, I mean, to be perfectly frank, someone who was an agent of you know who would probably say exactly what you are saying and do exactly what you are doing in order to acquire this knowledge. Good deeds aside, I would be more comfortable knowing you a bit better before we share this information. Not saying and that, also that but one must be careful, don't you think? And the fact that you refuse to travel with us, what will you be doing? I thought this was your mission, this was your task, and like you said, we're the best thing that you could possibly do. I did say second best. It is for <laughs> your best. own protection. Go on. Bad things become of those who accompany me and become my friends. So... I'm fine sharing your mission and pointing you in the right direction and helping you when I can. However, that would be the extent of it for your own safety. Um, I, he, he has, he's holding me. I mean, I'd like, I passed it to yes. him. Yes. Okay. Um, I will start with the detail of the card reading regarding the amulet. Okay. So the, you know, force of good, holy symbol, which Why card it was. she is doing that, can I check to see if he has been bitten? Sure, make a perception check. And I'll tell and him will about where we intently. found it mm -hmm. and the details of that. I okay. rolled a two for a total of three. Too many clothes. Skin looks <laughs> flawless. Story of my life. He moisturizes. Um, <laughs> Murray is intently staring at your bite, Jeswaldo, and like kind of trying to examine as, as you're looking at him. Jeswaldo gets the completely wrong idea. <laughs> <laughs> mm, she wants me. Um, so there's that one. Um, I'll then tell him about the one that we already mentioned, um, the history card with the tax collector, something that the Vistani have what we seek, um, that a missing child is the key, and then that we had received the intelligence separately, that there was indeed a missing child, and that that's going to be one of our next immediate steps here in town. What's his reaction so far to this information? He is just simply listening. He is making notes in his little book as well. Yes, um, yes, I see. I see. While he's writing in his book, can I see any other notes that are in there? Uh, sure, make a perception check as he's kind of flipping through. Damn it. Seven. Dear diary. Yeah, um, some of them seem to be scribbles, maps, something, maybe a different language. But he flips very fast through certain pages that he seems to not want you to look at quite yet. Um, I, before going on, I say, um, as for some of these other elements, um, things that are perhaps, perhaps items to be found, I hope that you will not scamper off and try to find them yourselves, yourself. <laughs> Um, well, going into the middle of the Vistani camp is not really what I had in mind, so no. 
Unless you tell me of this other place. Um, the next one I will reveal okay, only if you make a really promise good. that you will not go and take it first. Done. No, clear. And shake on it. There might be other people listening, Claire. He will reach out and shake your hand. Then I'm going to, I, I, noting what Jez Waldo just said, I'm going to come in very, very close. Do I believe him as he's saying, sh and he's shaking? Sorry to interrupt. Do oh, I, yeah, do I, true. I should probably make a check. <laughs> do I believe that this is, this is, this is true? Go for it. Yeah. After giving Jez Waldo the wrong impression. And, what, and is it wrong on insight? And even if someone isn't listening, if he is, if he is, or capture. I, I do also want to make a insight check here. Sure, go for Thank it. This is uh, very important I have information, a 14. I think. It's very straightforward for the most part. Yep. Um, I promise you it would be very much harder to get information from me than it would be from you, Jeswado. So calm yourself. I, yeah. hmm. I, I'm going to lean in very, very close and speak very, very quietly so that other people don't hear. And okay. also, it just checking around the room. Are there uh, most other people have sort of cleared out at this point, right? Yes, um, you see the um, proprietors kind of standing behind the bar, polishing some glasses, occasionally okay. glancing in your direction, just angling slightly. So, in the event that she could like read lips or something, so that she couldn't see my face while speaking. Are there any tambourines or musical <laughs> instruments or anything like that scattered oh. around or anything like that? Time for uh, me and just Waldo to cast distraction. <laughs> make a perception check. Yeah, these two have left as well now, and the hunters seem to be getting up to go. They're deep in their cups. I have rolled a 20. Okay. Um, yes, you see a little uh, what seems to be like a broken drum sort of tossed in the corner. All right, here, I, where you from my forward. seat. I do a backflip onto the table and then onto the next table and over going, hi, hey, hey, it is time for the second act. Oh my God. All right. That cast grease. <laughs> <laughs> make, a, yes. make a performance check. And what are you, are you I make then... an acrobatics check. This is more about acrobatics. Sure, and make an acrobatics check, Thank yes. You. I have rolled a 19. Okay, Ooh. successful and impressive. On top of the table now. And I uh, I jump over to the drum and I bang on the drum a few uh, very loudly and just you know obviously very drunk sweaty and just reading about and making a large amount of noise. I'm gonna cast a thaumaturgy on him too. Um, okay. So what do you his make voice happen? is his voice uh, is three times as loud. Okay, you oh hear in that God. case. Um, <laughs> I am just Waldo Togarembo la tombe del fuego Santa Maria Zacateca the Hotel de Santa Cruz de la Rosa These and guys... I am Go ahead. <laughs> She's just Start clapping. Booking it out of the inn. <laughs> um I lean in very very close and describe um the the various elements from the next three cards. Um so first the um this sort of sunlight um that's it, it there's a pile of treasure beyond amber doors then um someone who will help us in battle um and sort of and before i launch into this one make a pa passing comment to you know, referencing our conversation about um you know the vistani not necessarily being evil um that we're being sent specifically to find a vistana a vistani woman um who's searching for their mentor perhaps located at um, St. Markovia's Abbey. Um, and was that an in-character? Yes. He will react visibly to that particular bit of information. That seems familiar to you? I taught another. She was, uh, yes, she was my apprentice, you might say. She disapproved of my methods, like you. I suppose she just never got through to me. Huh. You should seek her out. All right. She would be 
a powerful companion to you. It's good to know that she is uh, capable. Um, what is her name? Yeah. Esmeralda. Just like a brief... fire, hellfire. <laughs> oh my god. Um, just a brief description so we know who we would who we're looking for. He will tell you. And basically he will say that she's also missing most of her left leg or the left leg below the knee. All right. That should be noticeable. Um wow, I can't spell. <laughs> Um, and then going on to the description of perhaps the least clear one, um, the executioner card, dark figure on a balcony situation. Uh, that means nothing to me, unfortunately, though. Hmm. No, I do not know the way that these things work. Uh, you must forgive me. It's all right. I mean, it's very helpful. It, you've given us a great amount of information on this person who will aid us. These amber doors, though, that you talked to me about, this is very interesting. Um, mm -hmm. I will do some research on this. I'm, I'm personally curious about it as well for other reasons. So any information that you have on it, I'd be very keen to know. Certainly. There's another thing you're very curious of, Claire. I don't know if Rudolph has the information on it. About what? She like, um, I can't even think of an action that could sim symbolize it. So she's just gonna say, uh, the windmill. Ah, oh my, you're so sweet. Um, yeah, so we had a, okay, this is on a totally different subject. Um, we had a little bit of a disagreement on our way up here. Um, Strings here, um, through her time traveling with the Vistani, um, has acquired a sense that one does not simply go to the windmill. Big no, not supposed to do. Um, I, on the other hand, being a somewhat perhaps unhealthily curious individual and um, very, um, twitchy when it comes to things that I think are wrong and need to be fixed. Um, we have a sense that there might be something up at this windmill, and I'm very curious to check it out. She's not. Do you know anything about it? I have only ridden past it. Never gone in, never noticed anything weird about it? No. Hmm. You smell anything from it? Ever? This went from being very informative to very strange, very quickly. That's par for the course with us. Okay. And he's alive and he's here and he hasn't been, so that's a great sign that we also shouldn't. I, I will look into these amber doors and see if I can find something out for you, but... Um... Also, we do apologize you don't have a room tonight. Uh, that is okay. I will make do. You could probably share with you as well, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you could. I'm sure you could uh, bunk with. Uh... No, 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 that is okay. Like I said, um, so it, it we will be able to communicate uh, later. It is best we do not stay together. That's fair. Um, it sounds like we might be here, staying here for at least a couple days um, while we get our bearings. Um, but if we need to seek you out, where might we find you? I mean, we know your wagon. If yes, that's, that's true. We have seen the wagon. Huh. Indeed. Um, I'm going to leave town for a few days. Okay. I will come back after the festival with any information I have learned. Great. I do not. They are distasteful to me. Distasteful. Ah. So when can we get this pearl so I can identify this item? Ah, yes. Tell you what. I'm going to um, go collect my wagon 
and likely uh, likely is the stockyard they get traders passing through all the time if there might be one for sale there and um, before I, you if, go if i find one i will pay for half of it for you thank you that that would be the place i presume if we had um goods to sell would that be a recommendation of a place to go certainly yes okay and just quick any information on the baron and i mean you seem to know his wife <laughs> yes um they are <sighs> Uh, I wouldn't cross him. He's not a um, he's not a particularly strong man, but he does not lack cunning, and he is unforgiving in though to those who question his authority in the town. All will be well. Indeed, all will be well. Good. Has he um, handed back the amulet, by the way? Yes. Got it stowed. He will say also, um, but that henchman of his is a soulless brute. He's sick. I believe you guys met him at the end of last session. We did. We saw him. He seemed really friendly. I don't know what you're talking about. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Something Um, is wrong with that one. All right. But, um, I should go collect my things and I'm going to leave town before it gets too dark. All right. Um, I think perhaps um, in spite of the somewhat rocky start to this conversation, I'm at least glad to have met you and to have, you know, sort of made a little bit of a partnership here. I look forward to learning from you. Yeah. Uh, Good. That, um, that remove curse thing, whatever you did. That's something that will benefit Miss greatly. They will need it again, I think. <laughs> I'm happy to help. Um, so I think this will be the end of my mission or the death of me. Maybe both. This is... There has not been people like you in this land for some time. How long? Amongst the mundane, the sad, the downtrodden. You are a singular group like Nen I have seen before, and you... Hmm. You carry your own darkness with you. How you often do people that pass? Which upon us now. What is that? How often do people pass through the mist? Every couple of years or so, there are some. Right. Don't worry, I mean... It sounds like you've been here longer than I, but you'll learn to love the husks. <laughs> I'll right. take that as a joke. All right. Well, very good. good. Um, again, after the festival, I will return to performance this in. We can talk then. Sounds More. good. Good. Have a lovely night. Uh, good night, Ruda. Uh, Rick Tavio. <laughs> Hey, my friends, uh, it's been a good time, uh, but I have a drink and all uh, entirely too much wine. Uh, time to uh, not to crash my wagon, I think. Uh, yep. It will do it. Uh, it is I'm good. safe. Wear your seatbelt. <laughs> all is well. Thank you, Danica. Good night, he says to the proprietors. And uh, is on his way and he actually takes and um gives Irena's hand a kiss and um kind of stumbles his way fake drunkenly out of the inn all right so that was interesting hmm. he just well just stumbles back not fake drunkenly yeah dead plops. at um at some point you see um uh um, the, a man has emerged from the side. His beard has long streaks, streaks of gray in it. And another boy with oddly graying hair comes up and says, Dad, I heard the loud man's voice. What happened? And he says, they're kind of like, oh, it's fine. Just go back, back up to bed. 
just finishing up here. It's okay. Kind of turns around and goes back into the back room. And the um, both the woman and man now are kind of cleaning up and eyeing you guys as you're uh, finishing up in the common room here. Yeah. Um, well, I for one could definitely use some rest. So I'm gonna go get myself. myself I think myself included. Um, just Waldo. Mm. <laughs> How do I word this? Um, would you accompany me to my room just for a small, short while? I completely understand. <laughs> I don't think he does, but okay. I'm gonna uh, go upstairs with um, Maris and Irena. Okay. <clears throat> Gotta go to bed as well. You know, I have ordered a bath. Ah, uh, that's great. Um, let me know when we're in our room. <laughs> okay. Oh my uh, <laughs> You guys will head upstairs. Just kind of so there's a open this area is open to below, basically. Mm, Here. Um there are stairs. You actually have to go outside to get to the different bunks, but you guys have sort of rented this bunk area here. Which which part on the map? Just look up above. There's yeah, I'm revealing the Okay. Cool, cool. So we get to the threshold of uh, the private room, and Jezwaldo stops. I, uh... <laughs> it's funny, I've only known you for, what, a day? But I think I have already come to respect you. Which means uh, I'm afraid we can never do what I think it is that you wanted to do. So, I would uh, have yeah. good night. I, I think you've got the wrong idea. Uh, no, I really think I do. But it's no. fine. It's fine. I, I've <laughs> made it a policy never to have that kind of relationship with anyone who I actually respect because... It That's a hideous mentality to have. Well, but please do it's, come it's inside. It's for your own good. I need to talk to you about something very important, and I'm really uh, no, trying not to use my abilities. Please do no, come inside my room. You've used your abilities. I you may take your totally. bath. You I may am... take your bath later. Just it, I only really need a moment of your time. I... And she's like grinning, like gritting her teeth, like always, like trying to pull you in if she can. I, I really, I must insist. I. I... <laughs> Uh, are they standing on? They're standing on the threshold of the. It's kind of like room. up on a balcony area too. So yeah. Okay. You can so, probably hear Jeswaldo. Yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna call over the balcony and be like, make good choices, and then go into my room. <laughs> you you have gotten the wrong impression. I do not intend to get in a way with you that would would uh, deem uh, disrespect. Unraveled. Unraveled. <laughs> um, <laughs> molested. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, but... so what? <laughs> what? Okay. All right. So once we're in the room and we're in like private, door shut. She's just like, what's this? And she gestures to the, the bites. They are scars. I have many. Yes, but they look particularly like. And. I noticed that you've mentioned about someone who had been bitten to Rudolf earlier, and I'm beginning to suspect that you have been. Well, yes. Um, we had a run-in with a um, sort of a vampire, but we did not need a stake through the heart to be bit. But if you think these are impressive, you should see what um, what's her name has. Those. Uh, those are bite marks. Whew. They still okay. bleed. Um, you know, what's her name? We traveled with her all day yesterday. Red hair. She doesn't say or do much, but she's always with us. So you're saying that both you and her have been bitten by a vampire? Well, we killed the one that bit me. I, she, he bit someone else, I think. But I think that the one who bit her is you know who. I think he might be a little um, infatuated. There's a very strange way of showing it. Hmm? But 
then. Right, and you're not turning? What? You're not a vampire, right? And she kind of like, almost like a dentist, like tries to like part your lips to see if you have like fangs. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> okay, so you've been only bitten once, not three times. It was a good bite. Let me see. It was... Well, it didn't drain all your blood. Correct. Oh, no. no. Still just wiped out. Great. Well, then you can leave. I'm glad you came to your senses. <laughs> and I leave. What, what do you mean? <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's obvious. It's... It, it means he's blowing you out. <laughs> no romance in the office. <laughs> All right. Uh, looking for love. Aboard. Bending. That's very good. Um, does anyone want to do anything before bed? Or are you on morning? You know, Sorry, just has... my, my do my hair and stuff. You know, my nightly yeah. routine. Yeah. Sure. Sorry, it has curled up under a bed. Got it. As a wolf. Mara, Serena, and I have girl talk. <laughs> <clears throat> Irina's never had a sister and very much enjoys it. Yes. Just while it takes a bath. Cool. Now they'll bring up the bath. And so does Alimus. The Alimus does as well. <laughs> All right. Oh. Okay. I was going to say just Waddle falls asleep in the tub, but that, that might be problematic. So he falls asleep. <laughs> no, he probably does because Elimus probably puts him to sleep. Oh. <laughs> cool. All right. Uh, let's I'm take glad a break. we had this time alone, yeah. Elimus. I've had this thing I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Ended up spending a long time in the Blue Water Inn. I did not. But uh, that is. That's we like to talk. Fun. Yeah. Dude, I mean, not me, obviously. <laughs> I was. I was really hoping for a um I didn't do anything with your sister by the way. <laughs> <laughs> a long a long chat means we live longer, right? Yeah, I yeah. guess. So. <laughs> and a long go ahead and long rest yourselves and let's take a, a, about 10 minutes. We'll be back in 10 to 15 everyone. Cool. Stick around. Great. We'll see you in a second. Yeah, okay, guys, on a break. See you in a bit. Welcome back everyone. So, Thanks for sticking through the break. The party had a little bit of a break, spent the night at the Blue Water Inn after having a long conversation with Rick Tavio, who they discovered was, in fact, the vampire hunter Rudolf van Richten. Uh, after curing Sariv of his curse, agreeing to help them purchase a pearl at the stockyards, he left town for a few days, saying he would return a day or two after the festival and would research the amber temple for them or the amber doors as it were um that was in their card reading question mr dm um yeah so i i know that um i alimus seeks the pearl to do a, sort of an identification ritual but is there anything to be gleaned from spending time with it you could um, identify some of its properties if you would choose to attune to it over a short rest or a long rest in this case. But you would basically just learn its abilities and not other information about it. Sure. So. Okay. Um, I does it, I guess I, this would have been something I should have asked last night. So I'll I'll, I'll wait on that because I don't want to do that without consensus from the group uh, okay so. this one is you do feel a humming energy coming from it though you personally it's intense and sort of inviting does anyone else you know, hear like... a humming <laughs> <laughs> and actually you're the only one who feels that mm. <laughs> okay um, from it you feel the power emanating from it Alimus, you can tell it's magical, but as far as personal connection, uh, just white one noise who can to tell that it's platinum. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Morning well, comes. Uh, well, we can go out and sell some stuff, can't we? And look for a pearl. Yeah, 
Um, uh, we should really find the arena a place to stay, you know. That is why we're here, right? Hmm. I, I yeah, kind we of do lost need the to... plot thread. Why are we here? <laughs> um, we, we, do, we are here in part to investigate whether there will be a suitable location here to leave her in. Um, we were given two options, Velaki and um, an Abbey, I think it was. Um, I could pull the, the name from my notes, but since this was the closer one, we figured we could check it out, see whether we think it's safe enough or whether or not we need to move on to the other place. Yeah. It was here, or the other option given was St. Markovia's Abbey in That's Kresk. Which is actually where our, supposedly we're supposed to meet this uh, Esmeralda figure, so we should head right, in that direction fine. anyway. <laughs> but yes, we do need to go shopping. I have goods to offload and get us some cash. Oh, okay. excellent. Um, <laughs> uh, the, just, and we can do that without, um, there is a stockyard yeah. who they basically traders come in and uh, what few there are um will yeah. purchase everything for basically used goods mm -hmm. typically is about I, I believe half price for selling used equipment okay. um but and they will sell goods essentially for players handbook pricing right. unless you need to negotiate some sort of other deal sure so i have a lot of fancy items um, it probably not found at the player's handbook. Things like a gold filigree box, ruby gold rings, platinum pendant, uh, different platinum pendant. Um, Stuff like that goes for normal yeah. cost, doesn't it? Is that normal uh, cost, or are we are we going to have to valuables negotiate that? Goes at normal yeah, valuables cost. go for the listed cost. I, Where did you get? Cost? Are okay. these awarded from? They were things that we picked up in the house primarily. I have a whole okay. list. And I, I will just mm, point out that. As a cleric myself, in other games, there are a, quite a few expensive component spells that uh, it sounds like we could potentially um, get from these items. I believe uh, platinum rings are the uh, component for warding bond. Well, I'll certainly um, confer with Alimus to see whether there's anything amongst but these are cleric items. spells, though. So, I mean, also like rubies. Rubies generally are are um, are use ruby dust, diamond dust. Uh, diamonds well, then Alimus and Maris, who unfortunately is not right. present. Um, but yeah, just just see whether they think there's anything that we should hold on to. I mean, I I cast some spells that I'm not like yeah, super not up on that. On anything like that. Um. I mean, we we have some rubies. There's like we have polished moss agates. Um, there's an eye patch that has like a carnelian shoved in it. Um, but R rubies are something. I can't remember what they are off the top of my head. Yeah, I don't need okay. them right now. So, but we can right. always get them later on. Sure. But platinum um, rings are definitely warding bonds. Yeah, platinum platinum so, bands, um, yeah. yeah. Peter, you know, what? I'll 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 write all down what we are selling and just total it up and i can shoot you a confirmation on okay. that um so we don't have to like spend time going through everything with a dude <laughs> if that's if that's amenable to you yeah yeah that's 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 totally can fine. we buy a pearl okay. as well yes um yeah. pearl worth a thousand a hundred gold pieces Tons i believe <laughs> oh, a thousand that's one hell of a pearl a pearl the size of your head um should we just take it off 50 of us mate he's going to give us 50 anyway or uh, you will find that when you go there, they do mention that um, that weird bard left um, some money, okay. fifty gold, saying he was settling up a bet to buy half um, that he lost. Uh, a uh, he was sure he had a perfect hand, but mm -hmm. the cards betrayed him this time. And he <laughs> lost, and so All right. he owed you guys half a pearl. I will. Spend a little bit of time selling all of this stuff. I will total it up and get back to you. Okay. So, Pearl, you have anyone else need any gear or anything? From I don't know how much money place? we've got, to be honest. So, I will um, be so identifying. They will the looking at the 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 um one pendant. Yeah, the their pendant eyes was... kind of widen. The, the oh. platinum necklace with the topaz pendant, it's, they're like, I don't know if I have this much 
gold to convert into stuff. It's gonna, incredibly do valuable. Do you happen to have any weapons made of silver? Or perhaps that are coated in silver? They will say uh, we could have that done. Or any magical items in here? Mm, oh. None of these items are magical. No, none um, of the ones that we've got are, no. No, How long I'm... would it take to make a a rapier silver? Like this. Oh. And I point to one that Arena has. Oh. Um, well, I mean, I suppose if we had the blacksmith rush you could get it done and for you guys tomorrow. Pick it up after the festival, maybe? How much would that cost? Uh, well, probably about I mean, it's it's a lot of silver, so we'd probably have to compensate the blacksmith about 100 gold piece worth. What is my cut? Hold on, I'm working on it. <laughs> um, they they can't buy the pendant, you said. Well, work but out how much we can trade it for silver yeah. weapons. Because the pendant so that's is what worth I'm like getting at. it's yeah, 750 gold pieces. They do not have that much. Yeah, but they that's do fine. have. We we could perhaps get silvered weapons for all of us yeah, in exchange for the pendant for you yep to silver a weapon is about 100 gold pieces so okay yeah i'd i'd hand over my rapier to be coated or changed into a two. silver thing um we do already have a short sword which is a little light for my taste um so i would be willing to give that to someone and have my my own long sword Silvered, if anyone's interested in that. Or we can try And obviously, they will be giving us weapons to use in the meantime. Loner weapons. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, well, okay. We'll work so out just... the total, and then. Yeah, yeah. We could sell the yeah, yeah, silver yeah. short sword, and then That's take. We could take a long sword and two rapiers in silver. Because I don't need. A weapon. I don't even know if I could use um, a short so sword. So of the sellable items, including two chain shirts at the half cost, um, we are looking at 305 gold pieces, which when divided by six players is like 50 gold and like 80 something silver. But would they be willing to take the pendant in exchange for just making all of our weapons silver so that's so how much for people's weapon. what what's the how many weapons is that it's the that's i the don't thing, need right? a silver weapon so it's two no. rapiers and a long sword yeah but you said 300 gold yeah but there was one of them but, that's 750 yeah so that that's just the sellable stuff oh, the okay. 305 is what i can sell the 750 is separate right okay from that pendant yeah um, Maris. So just say a thousand at the moment because obviously the pearl. Sure. And then um, silver short sword, sell him. Or well, we could trade Maris the silver short sword mace. for a silver rope. Maris uses a mace. We should do one for her. Mm -hmm. So two rapiers, a mace, and a long sword in exchange for the 750 gold piece pendant. Plus, we've got a silver short sword as well. Yeah. Well, if the weapons are only a hundred gold pieces to make, so then that's already that's like half of how much the jaw, the, the necklace is worth. Right, but they so don't we have could ask, money. Yeah, they don't have. But we could ask for the be. other half in in coin. Is that something that they could do? They could let you go with about four hundred gold pieces. Yeah, makes sense. Well, then I can't sell the rest of it, right? That's the problem, is that it's like how There's we only really, got yeah, so yeah, much yeah. gold. That's like a no, that's fortune. Fair, that's fair. You know, yeah, that's... <laughs> that's fair. Um, so I'll just, we can, we can, um, I'll hold on then to this other assorted stuff then, because I think it's easier to just get, deal with getting rid of this pendant now. Okay. So what you mm -hmm. said, we'll do the four, the four weapons, Minus the pearl, and get three hundred gold back. Yeah. So is that us okay. keeping the short sword then? Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. It, so just Walter will pick out a serviceable rapier while his is being silvered. Okay. All right. I'm going to add 300 GP to the party funds and get rid of the pendant. And the other items are still in my party inventory. So that's 50 gold each, right? Well, we we didn't... Oh, of the we'll, 300. We'll add it up later. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, yeah, I'll also grab a, a, if they have, like, ones you can use in the meantime, I'll grab a rapier as well. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I have a so you guys will now see that there are these posters all over town that advertise tomorrow is the festival of the blazing sun. Oh. Tomorrow's Great. a festival of free pearls. <laughs> Everyone gets a free pearl. Okay, well, you get a pearl, yeah. you get a pearl, and you get a pearl. I'll spend some time doing uh, identify then when I get a chance. Okay, um, you are able to do so, and I will show you finally. Others have seen what you guys see. have here. It is. There. I think you can see the description now. How many magical items have we got? Um, hold on. I can't. Oh, wait. Oh, Which okay. item? I can see Pull up that. the holy symbol of Ravenkind, I believe. The legendary. Ah! Ooh, that's exciting. So look at that. <laughs> Those abilities are. That might be useful. Wow. Hard. Uh, oh my God. NC. Wow. It's funny too. That percentile roll that you made, Sean. Seven. Yes. Yeah, it's amazing. I thought you guys were you guys were about to give up and leave this thing too, mm -hmm. and be like, "No, this isn't the place." Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "All right, let's dig one grave." And there's only a ten percent chance that you really? find it yeah. in a grave. Uh, well, and you rolled a you rolled a seven on your percentile die on the first grave, and I was like, first cool, grave, it's first there. Grave. <laughs> Boom! Yeah, <laughs> first first one. So it pays to have a swashbuckler on your team. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so that that's obviously either going to Claire or. Maurice, then. So I'm assuming. Um, I she. Let's see. I don't think I have. Dead, right? so. No, but it says if you have the feature, you can expend three. So I don't have that feature. So I can hold oh. on to it for the time being. Um, but then I think when she's back, I'll pass it off to her because she will be the best user of it. I think. Oh, That's very bright this morning. Mm. Yep. Um, I do, by the way, since you were asking about magic items, we did find a cloak of protection, which I am currently wearing, in case you forgot about that. She's got the pendant. She's got the cloak. <laughs> <laughs> I just said I want to get rid of the pendant. What's this say about a feat? Bosses us all around. What a paladin. Yeah, what's, what it a say, paladin. what's it say about a feat you've got? At least I don't have, like, a lawful stick up my ass. What are you talking about, Jade? I thought, uh, Elena said something about she doesn't have the feet or something. Oh, the it's just an ability. Yeah. Turn it's, undead? Yeah, oh. I, have, I have channel divinity, not turn undead. Well, channel divinity is how you turn undead. But it's... Or if you're a cleric. It's, yes, if, if you're a cleric. You're a cleric. I, oh, I have, right. like, a Other things enemy do. and vow of enmity she and stuff like that. She smites and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Well, you, you might as well All use right. it for now, yeah. Yeah, I'll so, just hold on to it until Maris is back. Just as a uh, and like a brief overview here of Valak, you guys have some time to do what you want. You know, there's a Vistani camp to the south. There's a lake mm -hmm. to the north. Uh, you've seen a church, uh, sort of a central area with a large mansion. Um, you have seen the stockyard, and you've seen a toy shop as well next to the town square. If you guys I forgot that. about the toy shop. I was gonna say, Mari uh, definitely wants to check that out. I um, just got Mari in it. We gotta find a home for what's her name, though, don't we? So she yeah. can live in the shop. Oh. Oh. So, yeah. Um, silver weapons. And... Goddess pearl. There's no need to seduce the burgomaster's wife. Well, you can still do that if you like. No. 
seems like <laughs> a waste of time now. I assume you don't respect her. Of course not. <laughs> as you guys are going, ab- as you guys are going about the town too, you do notice there are a number of people again hurrying around. Um, some of them are tearing dead flowers out of window boxes and such. A num, a lot of them are sort of pacing through the mud and gathering together twigs and sticks, which I think you noticed last time as well. Um, Does it look like they're cleaning? Sort of. Uh, Many of them look to be searching actively, but there's other stuff just laying about, but a lot of people are walking around with bundles of firewood, or not even, excuse me, not even firewood necessarily, just like a lot of sticks and twigs and tinder oh. and stuff like hey, that. Little boy, little running boy. around with bundles. So. Little boy. Yeah? What What are you doing with all these things? Getting sticks. Uh, yes, sticks. What are they for? Are you cleaning the square? Are you taking them someplace to burn something? Mom told me. Gathering sticks. Have you eaten today? Yeah. <laughs> I love him. He's my favorite. <laughs> Have you seen the bucket? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a joke going back to our... <laughs> the last person we talked to who talked like this was very keen on finding a bucket. No. Oh god, right. I totally forgot about no that. No bucket. <laughs> I need well, to find right. sticks. On your way. He kind of just turns and just without any sort of childlike bounce or joy just goes about picking up sticks from the mud and gathering them in a bundle. I hate oh, shit. That's depressing. Okay. Marie just has a big smile on her face. What are you smiling about? Nothing. Is there a little bit of cold energy between the two of them? Not for Jezwaldo. Jezwaldo is just the same as always. Uh, strings. Oh. I'm gonna, gonna put my arm around her. Um, mm-hmm. I I saw your eye light up when you saw that toy shop. Yeah, I like the toy shop. Yeah, okay, let's go to the toy shop. Okay, uh, you will see right there is this toy shop. Right next to it is also the a coffin shop. You can tell as that is uh, a sign hanging simply in the shape of a coffin up it that seems to have its doors and windows sort of boarded shut and locked. But um, next to it there is a cramped shop. Uh, and there is uh, there are large windows with different items, different little toys in display. Um, and there's a hanging placard that has the slogan, Is no fun, is no blinsky. I feel like I should live here. But the toys can be day. that much fun if that's where the kids are like. Yeah. <sighs> is there Does anyone inside? Have... You knock on the door? Yep. Okay. Uh, when you do, um, the door swings open. I think I have a little thing to display here. Ooh. Maybe, maybe not. Visuals. Um, it's no fun. It's no clean ski. Yeah. One moment. Where? Aha. You see this guy here. This man with a monkey on his shoulder. Large jester's cap and sort of two-toned clothes comes out and says, Oh, hello! Welcome, friends, to the house of Blinsky, where happiness and smiles can be bought at bargain prices. Perhaps you know a little child in need of joy? A little toy for a boy or girl? I think we know uh, a child in need of joy, but see, she is very interested. No, come in, come in. Let me show you my wares. I'm so happy you're here. Oh. Me too. And I hop on it. <laughs> is there anyone else inside the shop? I cast a uh, Nope, but the, <laughs> the monkey hops off his shoulder and begins sort of crawling around on the shelves. Is Sorry, go make a friend. I cast There's animal a friendship slow... on the monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Like giving it a piece of food. Oh, hey, hey, what are you doing to my pet? What do you speak? What are you doing to Piccolo? Piccolo. Can can Jezwaldo make a slow pan of every inch of the square that he can see? Does sure. he see any toys? Yes. Um, 
he will he will see you sort of looking in the directions. Oh, what no, do no, you? No, 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 not not toys that in the um oh. in the shop. I'm mm -hmm. looking for anybody playing with any toy at all. Outside. Outside. Um, go ahead and uh, make a perception check. I was actually I was sort of curious about that as well. There's just part of my but question. You should about have spoken about both. And, well, no. So no, my question about whether anyone else is inside. Sort of trying to figure out, like, oh, is anyone interested? I have in, rolled like, a twenty. Here. Got it. Um, well, it's a small shop. It's easy enough to see that the shop is empty. Just while though, you look around, um, you do see, um, at first glance, you see another child similar to the one. This one's a girl, though, just going and sort of picking up sticks. You do see one boy though, who's kind of out and has a bundle over his head that's kind of like found a little fence post and it's like bah, bah, whacking the fence post with the largest stick he's found. It's like he found a perfect sword stick. And so now he's kind of dueling with this fence post. You also see um, uh, two other, or, uh, a girl and a boy sort of off in the corner. One of them seems to have what looks like a straw doll sort of wrapped in cloths and they're kind of like talking about it and messing with it a bit. So play is not foreign to this place. But as soon as you see that too, you see a parent be like, come on, we gotta, you know, quit slacking. We gotta gather up more of this stuff. Don't let the Burgomaster see you slacking. And they kind of does anybody go. appear to be playing with a manufactured toy? Oh, well, the doll certainly could be. Um, could it be a Belinsky original? It might be. Hmm. And I think you guys found one before, too. I don't know if you remember your very first yes, session. Yes, I do um, remember that. The young child, the ghost child, mm. was playing with a doll. Yep. That had that tag on it. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's a happy. Does my does my spell go off, or does he? Uh, what is? Does it have to save? Uh, if the beast intelligence, uh, wisdom saving throw of sixteen. Yeah, he has an eighteen. <laughs> All right. It uh, kind of it kind of looks towards you <laughs> and goes and uh, climbs up the leg of uh, and kind of hides behind one of the uh, sort of I don't know what you call those things that come off the top of the jester's hat, but he kind of <laughs> <laughs> then I turn into a monkey that look the same kind of monkey basically. Oh, what is this? What is this wizardry you've brought here? I immediately um. take off and start careening around the shells and stuff. Not knocking anything over. Oh, I can oh, it, but well, he, he's <laughs> he's uh, he's a, a druid. Well, well, there is a convenient distraction. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is in view that might be valuable? <laughs> oh my god! Just well. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> kicked out. <laughs> yes. Mark, how to get in there? Do you, bad do, you nab, do you nab the quickest the the quickest toy that you're the nearest one to you? Yes. And look at it. All right. Go ahead and roll a percentile die on D100. Ooh. Not very often you get to roll that. I know. This is twice. I rolled a ten. Oh, you're on the you on the low train. All right. <laughs> Good. You find. There's a headless doll that oh. comes with a sack of de of attachable heads, including one with its eyes and mouth stitched shut. Charming. That's I love it. Disturbing. He looks uh, up. Oh yes, <laughs> that one is very very fun. Uh, he has all the heads in the bag, and you can put on the head. And uh, if you want it to be quiet, you put on that head. <laughs> It's fun, to, yes! <laughs> to be Once quiet, you know. it's Look at this one, look, look! This, this one is very, very, very fun, too. Uh, he takes out what looks to be a miniature doll-sized gallows. Weighted man, very heavy. Make the uh, rope go snap sound, yes! 
and he kind of sets up the miniature man in a bit. He pulls a lever, and the little gallows thing falls, and it just falls down. Ah! Ah! Very good. Rope, go snap! I look to Claire. Why are we here? <laughs> we, we are letting your sister have a little fun. Um, uh, do you have anything wanted. like this? And she, she pulls up like her marionette. Oh, I have uh, something a lot like that, yes. Um, here you look. It is uh, very well made. And he holds up a, a, a ventriloquist doll that is dressed in fine, dark clothing. Seems to have long, flowing black hair and an unnatural amber color to the eyes. Red lips. Mm. And though the lips are just barely parted, the incisors seem to be unnaturally long. And it bears an uncanny resemblance to a large statue you, you guys saw mm. in the basement of the yep. death house. It also looks exactly like a figure some of you have seen in your dreams. I think he take jumps the head onto his head. <laughs> <laughs> no, be careful. Careful. I spurred in, in curiosity having seen the doll. Um, I want to start taking a pass around the room and seeing if there's anything else that seems familiar, I guess. Okay, you will, as you're starting going to look to, you'll hear, you'll feel a little tug at your shoulder, and Irina will here with her um, hood mm -hmm. on, will be like, um, I'm not so sure about that one. And you will look and see a doll that looks remarkably like Irina. An exact likeness. Um, I'm gonna nod She kind of pulls her hood further over <laughs> her face. I, I reach down and just give her hand a quick squeeze just to be like, yeah, it's okay. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, shift my stance a little bit. Um, Blinksy, is it? I assume the shop takes your name. Blinsky, Blinker. yes. Blinsky, sorry. Yes. Um, I... You can call me Gadoff, though. I'm sorry, say that again? Gadoff is my first name. Gadoff? Okay, just want to make sure I heard you right. A little, little bit of a hearing tick there. Um, I gotta say, I'm really curious. Your, your craftsmanship's remarkable. I was looking at this one. I um, nod over to the the Irina doll. Um, I that actually that reminds me of someone I've seen before. It's an old friend of mine um, from when I was a kid. It's like strikingly similar. Um, where'd you get the idea for that one? Oh, the up one is not for sale. Um, that one is, uh, special order. Oh. Uh. I, it's gotta be someone I know, I, friend of a friend, then, if they've met this person before. I mean, Well, um, it's not the first one I've made. Uh, he comes by sometimes, um, oh, I don't. It's, uh, you know, the guy with the, you know, kind of gestures to his arm, um, with the, uh, you know, the, the hair. The hair? Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, I'm not really he's sure sick. what you mean. Yeah. He, oh, he's he, sick. He, he told me exactly how to make this one. He wrote down Did exactly the know? kind of doll he wanted, and I made it for him. That. And he's ordered multiple. Wow. He must really like this He's person. been very happy with the recent ones. His description okay. has gotten... What was the what recent one? His description? Yes. Well, um, let's see. I have it ri written down here. Um, he kind of goes in, into a desk and drawer and pulls out a piece of paper and basically begins to read a verbatim description of Irina. Siedia was in his... Uh, Dreams or something. Don't. Mm. Little weird if you ask me, but uh, must be fun. He's no fun. He's no Blinsky. Of course, <laughs> yeah. Um... Look at this one. <laughs> look at look at this one. This is good. Uh, this is my favorite. Uh, he does a merry-go-round. I call it. And he pulls out a little toy merry-go-round that. Um, 
in in place of the horses going up and down there are um, snarling wolves and in between each snarling wolf is a running child that seem to just go <laughs> around in a circle wolves chasing children these are incredible do you make these yourself yes i do what an incredible craftsman um i you know i Sorry, if you want to look around, uh, don't take too long, just a, a few minutes, but if there's something, you know, that catches your eye, you know, maybe see how much it is. And I'm going to um, bring Irina outside. Did Isaac see Irina when we came the night before? Uh, it was a rainy day and she's had her hood up, um, pretty much protected the whole time. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'd, I'd like to feel I'm not seeing a life size thing. Oh, don't imagine that. That's a very bad image. Sorry. Um, I'm gonna have a look around it's the like shop. A small and... doll, right? Or is it small, big, small? The uh, it's a doll? small, it's a doll, like about, okay. you know, it's small. Uh, you, so you will find, you know, things mentioned. I've thought a lot of things are sort of half made and, um, also, uh, the other thing interesting you'll find is like a, a mobile that would go over a child's crib that are flapping bats. Is there anything that um, Marie would uh, could could use potentially with her magic or or something of of potential interest? I feel like you know that what she but likes. And... Potentially the ventriloquist doll. That's the ventriloquist doll. I presume she hasn't seen that person in her dreams or anything. No, no, you no. you haven't. And how big is the ventriloquist doll? I mean, it's like two, you know, two feet, like you would. Oops, excuse me, like you would normally expect. You know, kind of sit on your knee and. Okay. Do you um, often? Oh, sorry. How much is the ventriloquist doll? Well, that is, is a very nice workmanship. Um, um, nine silver pieces. I just, I, I, out of my own pocket, I just hand out nine silver Sold. pieces. Thank you so much. Do you get many requests for specific dolls? Not very often. Very grateful for the patronage, though. So, so you, you have a doll you would like made. Hmm. Hmm. I would have to think about that one. How much does it cost? I'll be outside. I charge him one gold piece every time because it uh, takes extra work to paint uh, real close like this. I have other fun things too, though. Look at this. And he picks out a doll that, that kind of comes apart and he's like, look. And uh, it gets smaller and smaller, uh, but the doll also gets older and older. And then the last one seems like a decrepit old person he's like and and finally and it looks a mum there's a like a mummified corpse inside and he goes Jeez. because we're all dead inside a little bit eventually at least <laughs> teach your children about mortality it's very fun yes <laughs> oh my god <gasps> he starts well, putting them back together yes um loads of fun loads of blinky by the way, you seem like capable travelers, yes? There is a uh, an inventor that was in this area. Greatest toy maker, Fritz von Wirk. And there is a clockwork man that he made. If you bring it to me, I would be make you any toy you desire. Just uh, for, for me and my notes, could you speak that perhaps without an accent so I could write that down? <laughs> Fritz von Wirg. Fritz von Wirg. Von Wirg, yeah. Um, he's a he, he's a craftsman. He is a clockwork man, you said? Yeah, he'll tell you. He, he will kind of go off about it for a while that he invented a clockwork man. Interesting. So. Just waiting for him to go, I like toys. Isn't that weird? <laughs> all right um or I feel like are we all done in here is everyone starting to oh yes exit the, um, the monkey is still carousing sorry come on looks leaps at you and will um oh. latch on 
and yep. crawl up and start picking through your hair. Okay, that's fine. Um, yep, Life with a monkey, right? There we go. Um, I, I'm going to huddle everyone close after we get outside the shop. Um, I don't think I'm the only one who's a little bit disturbed by the fact that there is a striking resemblance of Irena on a doll. The only that's creepy thing to me in that shop was the fact that Jess Waldo wants his own one. <laughs> Custom made. Well, it's less that I want one. It's that I wonder what one could do with one. And I know that sounds bad, but I am sure. asking from a... You're asking friend. for a friend? <laughs> Magical standpoint. Um, <laughs> especially a repeated attempt to get something specifically made like that. Is that something that is possible use magically? Mm, can I think if there is? Sure. I'll go ahead and make an arcana check. 16. Um, it, uh, so oftentimes a some sort of figurine resembling the target is it can be a component though if you know dozens of these were made they're, they're very powerful spells you can't necessarily recall which ones they are but because of that component they're very high level very powerful do I if recall? that were many were made it would she would probably have noticed if a spell like that were cast upon her did i notice if any of them had uh, her bite marks on them well there's only the one in the shop <laughs> oh it was the, did that one have any bite marks on it um you can make a uh a retcon investigation check retcon investigation I wanted to cast Detect Magic, but it would have taken too long. I have rolled a 13. Um, no. It seemed you didn't you didn't notice anything out of place like that. Hmm, I don't really want that doll. It's just strange, don't you think? I... <laughs> Marie looks to her new ventriloquist doll. Yes, very strange. I personally don't feel comfortable at all with the idea of leaving Urena here without at least figuring out what's up with this guy Isak. I, if he's perhaps not as great a threat as Strahd, but a threat nonetheless. If he's he taking that kind of close interest in her. Maybe he's using it to track her. How I mean, do you, have you ever been here, Urena? Um, once, but it was a while ago. How old were you? Um, I must have been 13 or so. We came over here with father. For, that looked um, like a 13 year old doll? Like a doll of a 13 year old? No, not at all. It so looked like a full, fully grown woman, like? yeah. All right, I mean, I, guy used, out. I used my magic with uh, my doll, so. Yeah. And like you, you'd know that she makes her mannequins look like the person she's casting something on. But you don't like you, the resemblance of the mannequin doesn't necessarily like have a particular connection to the person you're affecting. That's you know what I mean. Or am I just what? blabbering? Like you know, I to Mar Mari, like your your strings rather, you your your mannequin resembling us, that's not like a a requisite to it to your magic affecting us, is it? No, I think it's just for flavor. Yeah, yeah for so, Mary. No, yeah, so that Mary would I mean, know that it's her marionette. You don't need to make your marionette actually you don't have to craft it to look like a particular person. Your magic yeah. kinda yeah, does yeah. that for you. So Yeah. For the record it's like I don't when, when... When she when she casts it on someone, it looks like them. Yeah. Very in like the thing, but it's not tied to them in that way. Yeah. So like, I I just to so work clear, strings. I have I take no issue with your marionette doll. That is a super cool expression of your magic. Um, but this is I mean repeat requests for a doll that looks exactly like her. That is creepy as fuck. That is quite bizarre. I mean, do you think that it is from 
you know, the person we were talking about last night. Who knows? I, I, I want to check it out. going to do if he actually sees the real thing. Yeah. But. As you guys are walking and talking, by the way, anyone with passive perception 14 or higher will notice someone sort of ducking in and out of some alleys following uh -oh. you. Not me. Not me. <laughs> uh, we're being followed. Not me. I said to the group as we're walking, we're being followed. Oh, charming. Um, well. I make monkey alert sounds. Yep. Oh, oh, I noticed. <laughs> oh, pass you, pass like loud, you up a little. Loud. Ooh, e. Pass you up a little uh, snack. Um. I'm gonna. As it's drawn my attention to it, can I see the person? Well, yeah, that's you, you noticed it. There's someone, sort of with the hood up, just sort of, you know, as you guys stop and, you know, if you make any kind of leans against a building and kind of looks down, and uh, you see this figure a number of times. I think he's definitely following us. Okay. I can take care of this. Right. Either that, or I do have a. A trick, as um, Rudolph liked to put it, where I can make him our friend. Ooh. Interesting. I like that idea better. Could we, like, and, uh, corner him? Get him to go around an alley or something? I don't know potentially. Um, I'm going to cast uh, friends on him, and I'm going to have the marionette look like the figure, but kind of in, like, a more unguarded position, relaxed rather than the kind of crouched and cowering. Okay. Maybe what's... even revealing his hood off. It is a... Da -da -da -da. What is it? Friends, I think, just gives you advantage on charisma checks. Yeah, it does. They're not okay. hostile. There's, to there's not a DC, I think. Oh. So it's an automatic success, but he'll know that we're cast after, right? Afterwards, yeah. Um, Is that still what you want to do? I thought it was a little bit different. I mean, I could charm them. That's what I you thought what? you were going to do. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to charm them. Okay. What's the save for that? Uh, if... It is a Wisdom 14 saving throw. Okay. I have an eight. Oh, that's exciting. And you cast Charm Person. Yes. So he fails, and he is charmed by you now. And he kind of like does a double take in your direction. And then looks at you, kind of pulls back. Hey, I miss what should we do? Bit. Hello there. Uh, who are you? Oh, sorry. Um, I didn't know you were with this group. Um, and he kind of walks up to you. Maybe everybody else just oh, right back away and let, let, yeah, yeah. let Marie do work. Okay. What are you doing out here? Why are you following this group? Well, I'm just, you know, how it is, just doing what Lady Vachter asks. Just uh, oh, yeah, keeping an yeah. eye out, reporting back. Of course. I mean, have they been doing something that is worth reporting? Oh, you're, you're new in town. You know, she wants to just keep an eye on everything. Ah, so just anyone who's new, do you just report back and make sure that they're all as well, you know? Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck that thing, but yeah, well, you're right. Lean into Mari. What's his name? And, um, I have to ask, uh, friend, what, what is your name? Oh, yeah, Ernst, remember? Yeah. Ernst? Oh, of course. Sorry, right. do forgive me. Um, and uh, have you seen anything interesting that you have reported back to her? Well, I mean, you guys were, been, you know, pretty new in town. You just sink around. You had a whole lot of interesting loot that you sold down there at the stockyard. Like, whew. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool, right? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Is it a yeah. toy maker for some reason? And got that yeah, woman there just walking around with the hood. What's she, is she hiding from something? That's kind of what it looks I like. Mean, 
I mean, you were also wearing a hood, so... I you know. know, but I was hiding, so... <laughs> yeah, they've got a good point. Uh, she's just very self-conscious, you know how it is. Um, that toy maker, do you know anything about him? Oh, he's weird. That's what I know. Ah, oh, fair enough. Um, I mean, have you seen those toys? <laughs> I hide my ventriloquist to hole. Yeah. Um, I, I lean in again to Mari, ask him about Lady Vachter. Uh, so this Lady Vakta, can you give me some information about her? She um, sounds amazing. I, I mean, she, she pays me well. So, ah. I mean, she really should be in charge around here. Not that damn Virgo master, that all is well shit. <laughs> I mean, how did he, how, how is she not in power, you know? Well, I mean, I mean, his the last name's Volakovich, if that gives you any sense of why. No, who should really be in charge is Marie here, don't you think? I mean, well, I mean, is that what you want? Uh, not, not quite. Oh, um, okay. That's yeah, kind of see, a relief, because that would be really, I don't know what I can do be, about that. That would be really awkward, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, glad that situation. I mean, you'd be great. You'd be awesome. Thanks. Thanks. But, I um, no, it's great. Um, so uh, she pays you to go check out people, see what they're up to, oh, you report yeah, yeah. back. Right. Eyes and ears, you know. Oh, yeah. Very important. And um, what do you do if you report back something she's not too happy about? Uh, I don't know. She usually, you know, I'm, I'm just eyes and ears. And whatever happens, happens after that. She's, you know, she's got her resources. Well, and this Varakovich... What have you got to report now? Um. Who are you? Who's this guy? Sorry. Uh, this is my brother. We're all really good friends of Marie. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah. So, I mean, you guys are new in town. She's obviously awesome. Super great. Doesn't want to take her place, though. Well, I got that. Don't worry about it. Um. You know, and... does DM does he look like he has anything on him of particular value? Uh, I mean, he's wearing pretty plain clothes. He's got a dagger on a belt, but other than how that, about a, a, a money pouch? He said she paid him well. Oh, I mean, go ahead and make a perception check to try and scope that out. Oh goodness gracious! So this Vorokovich, you mentioned that this name Maybe. means something. Thing. I, I, as you know, I'm new in town. You couldn't lend me a hand in knowing what, what that means. Baron Volakovich. I mean, the, the town's name's Volaki, and he's Volakovich. Like his, you know, his family started the damn town. Um, you know, he's he's been he's old blood, but man, old blood gets stale and crazy. I mean, have you seen all the? Uh, we've had one festival every week, over and over again. I have written. I have written. I have written a thirteen. Because that's what okay. I ruled. Um, uh, if he does, he's probably hidden it away cleverly. You don't you don't see a pouch in an obvious place. You're a little short on funds, don't you think, Mary? Um, I mean, a little bit. I did have to spend some money, but mm. but uh, this uh. It's this, this guy lady. trying to steal money from you, and he kind of looks oh, at you, Sean. No. <laughs> no, no, I was thinking that she needs money, and, and I don't have any to give her. If only someone who is really her friend did. <laughs> if only now. Towards you. Um. Yes, I'm quite short on funds. You know how it is. Um, oh this... yeah. Well. I got gotcha. you. Don't worry about it. He kind of reaches b behind and he's like, I mean, this should get you anything you need. Um, you know, this should cover you for a while. Sorry, d don't worry about it. This will this will get you the good wine too. Oh, and he, he kind of uh puts a uh, something into your palm. I There's two gold pieces. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. That means so much to me. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Um, you're a really good friend. Um, you know, 
this this lady, I, I take it she plans to take over, of course, you know, take over the old blood. Well, hey, hey let's not go spreading that kind of stuff around. Oh, no, I'm not going to spread anything. Unless, no, I'm joking. Because <laughs> <laughs> I just... Oh my god. Um. <laughs> what? <laughs> Clara's just standing back, metaphorically, just like watching and eating popcorn. Like, this is great. Spell is amazing. You let me do this. No, he he um, just makes people catatonic. And, I mean, like like you said, is you know. The 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 Baron, the guy, he has this this bodyguard, right? Do you know anything about him? Isaac? Yeah, he's a he's a brute. He scares me. Like, is there anything I can do to protect myself from him? Um I mean that Burgomaster's got a short temper, so just stay on his good side, you know, all all the while and smile and pretend to be happy at the festival and you'll be fine. What I'm gonna lean okay. into Mari one last time. Where does Isaac live? And where does uh, Isaac live? Uh, he's got a room at the Burgomaster's mansion, I think. I see. So. He's like his enforcer, you know, head of security yeah. kind of thing. I wonder if that he's makes the only sense. One. Yeah. Do you know if he, he has any more friends? I'd like to know, just because I, I'm. If there's more, and I'm not expecting it, I might be afraid. Friends, Isaac. I mean, he's well, he's like the leader of the guard and stuff, but he's dude's a sociopath. Straight up, okay. Yeah. Um. Well, I, I thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Um, is there anything that you think could be worthwhile as as information for us as, as before we head off? Um, I don't know. What do you need to know? Oh, oh, Do you know anything the about of the sun? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Sorry. Damn. What's the festival of the blazing sun? Oh, uh, yeah, this is the most recent one coming up. Um, we're supposed to. Everyone's gathering twigs and stuff for it, and gotta everyone's gotta make a torch for themselves and then gotta get some extra wood to the burgomaster's mansion you got everyone's got to deliver a bundle every family or you know they're in trouble what are they doing does that mean we... i don't know yet hmm. oh does that mean we should bring a bundle i mean your visitors you as long as you show up you should be fine but okay pretend to have a good um... time well, if you could do me a really big favor, um, we just sure. want to have a nice time here. Do you think you could um, report back that all is well with me and my friends and we, we don't require any more um, investigating? I'd much rather we hung out as friends than, you know, you following us from behind. Got it. I'll, I will report back and say that, um, that, that yeah, we're, we're, we're good friends. I totally vouch for you guys and um, it's all good. Go well. <laughs> That's perfect. Thank you so so much. Okay. Um, yeah, but I you got it. See you later. Ernst. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. See you later. I'm gonna go tell her that right now. Good idea. How long does that last? That's amazing. It's let's, about an let's, hour. Let's oh. book it. Let's book it. All right. I, I let out a little noise, like like a ah. ah. I point at him, and I just. Like draw my little monkey hand across my throat. Hey, hey! You know the <laughs> monkey rude. might have a good point. <laughs> I don't know. I'm monkeys are savage. <laughs> oh, I'm kind of curious about. She could be an ally. You never know. She could be an ally, or at least a potential. I mean, if she's got influence, definitely a piece in play that's worth knowing a little more about. Um. I'm going to, sorry, just really, before we move yeah. on, uh, Marie is going to really quickly write a note to him, apologizing, and run back, catch up to him, hand him the note, and just say, when you uh, return back to the mansion, uh, I want you to read this, but don't do it before then. Oh, sure, that's fine. And, yeah, you know, I'm, it's just like, 
what could I tell you? You know, like I, I'm trying to think of things that'll be helpful, but like, here's two things that, you know, we just kind of know. Um, okay. Definitely. So that lake to the north is way too dangerous. You know, like the wolves will always like surround you and stalk you on the shore if you ever go out there on a boat. But that there's this guy, Bluto. He's like an idiot and he does it anyway. Apparently he's out there every day fishing anyway. Whoa. Pretty sure this is the last day we'll see him because he went out and did it anyway. And even at further past the lake, there's um we we've recently seen some more um or there haven't been recent sightings of this guy. So there was a guy out on Mount Baratok up to the north, just like there were flashing lights and explosions and stuff. Yeah, like we call him the mad mage of Baratok. He is nuts. But um we haven't seen him recently. So <laughs> Um, if you were nervous about the mad mage, um, don't be, I guess. Um, Thank you. Yeah. There's also, there's also, if you're going south of town, if you're trying to go to um, Kresk for some reason, that place sucks. But um, if you, if you take the one path south that's not marked, that'll lead to this really creepy abandoned mansion so just don't be surprised if you go there and then there's a mansion okay so that's crazy. like yeah i think Surprise mansion <laughs> <laughs> if there's anything else you need to know anything what hey do you want to go home? meet do you want to go meet fiona she's really great you want to come with me fiona who's fiona yeah yeah, come on, her. I'll show you. But who is she? She oh. she's Fiona Vachter, the, the woman that he reports. To. I usually don't call her that, but you know. Oh. You're a good friend, so I can um, introduce her. Her house is really nice. Is it close by? Yeah, it's pretty close. You wanna come see it? She might even Ow. let you do one of the she might even let you be part of the special meetings in the basement. <laughs> Of what happens in the basement? <laughs> Writing that down. I don't know, but people always go down there, and it sounds really interesting. Do they come out? So One you could go down, die. and you could tell me. Yeah, they come out. Do you guys want to go visit Fiona? What? I thought you you were off. You're you off on your him. own with this. You're guy. by yourself. Ah, uh, let me just quickly talk to my group. Like, you know, inform them what's going on. No, just on. go by yourself. It's going to be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. I mean, die. I didn't want to ask in front of everyone else because I don't really know them, but you're great, so. Oh, yeah, no, I, I totally get that. Um, I'm just going to go, like, let them know that, you know, what we're up to. and I'll, I'll be back, okay? Just give yeah. me, like, give it's a really cool okay. Strad puppet, by the way. It's really good. Oh, okay. That's who he is. Thank you. Okay, all right. Give me a yeah. minute. <laughs> Um, I, I I run off back to the group. I relay everything he just told me to you guys. Yep. Um, and um, but he says that he he could take me to see his his master Fiona. I don't know whether it's a good idea for us to go or whether we avoid that place. Well, you're certainly not going to go by yourself, are you? So no, that's, that's, no, that's not my plan at all. <laughs> I mean, um, you know what you said earlier might be. Uh, Valid, right? Uh, someone who has some power, maybe, maybe someone who could protect Irena. Yeah, maybe. and also he could be but, an ally. Well, if we could get into the mansion, we could also figure out what's up with Isak. That's definitely my biggest priority as far as Irena's safety is concerned. But I'm not sure how comfortable I feel bringing her inside. Right. The other option is to leave her outside. Alone. Yeah. Um, brother, I mean, if like you... if Rictavio hadn't left, I'd be comfortable leaving her with him. But he's gone. You trust that guy too much, I think. And mm -hmm. you trust him too little. I just threw my pen off my desk. <laughs> <laughs> Pets is what you get <laughs> for gesticulating. Um. Brother, do you have anything that could make someone invisible? Hmm. 
Let me check my spell book. Or like a disguise, something like that. Spell book. I, <clears throat> I jump off and morph back into a lizard. I do. Oh, hello. But I do not have. Oh, I do have it prepared. Uh, no, I don't have it prepared. I can help people be very sneaky. How so? With a spell that makes them very sneaky. Like, like not visible <laughs> sneaky, or like. If they are good at being sneaky, sneaky, no one will see them. I guess if they like pass without a trace or something, right? Yeah, I can use pass without a trace if that helps at all. Mm. No meta at this table. I don't know. Um. um... I'm not I mean, sure that's what kind of sneaking we're doing right now. Well, it's still morning, so yeah, I haven't offers. actually prepared my spells yet, I suppose. It, it's up to you guys. I mean, this charm's gonna wear out in like 50 minutes. Uh, well, we should take advantage of it, I think. We should. Uh, uh, okay. We bring him Irana. outside the city and bury him, and then it's fine. Irana, do you feel comfortable going in there? Um, I do. I feel more comfortable with that than just murdering the man. I mean, Oh, we wouldn't just murder them. Oh, yeah, 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 no, I, okay, I mean, just I, as far I as I'm sure, pretty sure sorry worry about eat certain him. suggestions. He's just a little too direct. He's too much food. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe. I just, I mean more of, you know, going into the building, same place that a guy who seems to have an unhealthy obsession with you, or another guy that seems to have an unhealthy obsession with you, um, where he lives. No, there's two different b band mansions, right? Yes. Right. So this is not the Burgermaster's mansion. This, this is, is Fiona Master's rival. This ah, is Fiona Vaster. I misunderstood that. My apologies. I thought it so was we have to do. They have, we have to make a decision. Is this who's who's going to be on our side? This side is it? Is it the Burgermaster? Or do we do stuff to help him, or do we do stuff to help his rival? I don't know. The Burgermaster seems kind of crazy to me. Well, he also is the one who's employing Isaac. Who's making the creepy dolls of Irena? Irena. Yeah, let's go. Let's go check her out. Mm -hmm. Okay. I thought it was. I thought it was out of character. I thought it was Strahd who was hiring him to make the dolls. Nope. No, Isak. Oh. Um, my bad. Yeah. Names. Okay. <laughs> but Names. Strahd could be involved. We don't know. Yeah. yeah. Like who's who's sending visions to Isak or? You so are you guys heading towards the Wachter house? Yep. Yes. All right. Lead on, That's Ernst. Not end well. Wachter house. Pardon the brief darkness. Hey, who turned out the lights? Ah ha ha. Continual flame. That's the spell that rubies are used for. Be very useful for those of us who do not have dark vision. I but I long, wouldn't know that. I have long wanted to just cast that on like all of my pieces of armor and everything, all my just weapons. Be shiny just all the time. just <laughs> it's, it's a lot be of on fire. That's a lot of ruby. <laughs> yes, I have. I want someday. Someday. I think there's right. already been a Burning Man reference in the chat. So <laughs> there has. <laughs> I dig it. Um, I, I checked all my spells. I just need diamonds, apparently. Mostly it is. <laughs> Diamonds are a lizard's best friend. That's true. So you guys approach this large house. And truly, this house seems disgusted with itself. A slouching roof hangs heavy over <laughs> furrowed gables, and moss-covered walls sag and bulge under the weight of the vegetation. As you study the house's sullen countenance, you hear the edifice actually groan. Only then do you realize the extent to which the house hates what it has become. What? <laughs> the heck? Lovely. Also, I wrote down as my Looking at you, Chris book. Perkins. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely wrote down this house seems disgusted with itself as my quote for the evening. Um, lovely. I had a giga brain a moment tutor. with that block text. <laughs> Damn those Perkinses. I assume this over here yeah. is the uh, it's, front it's entryway. Looks like it. Okay. Should we be on the map? You can drag yourself on down here if you'd like. Woo! 
Where should we enter, Ernst? Oh, I thought you dismissed him. Oh, no, I I, I definitely oh, no. said lead on Ernst. Oh, he's just straight up with you. Okay, that's great. Uh, one second. <laughs> he's going to get moved. Yeah, no, he's, he's coming with us, dude. He's the one showing us where to go, and he's going uh, to do this. Yeah, of course. Um, you've been charmed. Stucco is so tacky. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, ba -ba -ba. this is a dumb token, but that's not going to be him. I'm going to find something that just looks better. <laughs> <laughs> that looks dumb too. Just for the purposes of ease, um, is Maris like back at the end? All right, this is a guy. Just he's there. <laughs> he's a very pretty. Uh, guy. He's uh, yeah. He's prettier than Michael. I envisioned him. It's a yeah. common guy. He's an older guy with thin facial features, a sharp nose, um, gaunt cheeks, boobs. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, actually, <laughs> actually, this is better. We'll use this. Oh, there we go. There you go. <laughs> Ah. Nice. Alright. That's a Weasley fellow. I can just tell. Yeah, yeah. he's definitely a yeah. he second perfect. Second hand clothes, a stupid expression. Must be a Weasley. Sorry. Uh, isn't that it? <laughs> Something like that. Uh, anyway. yeah. <laughs> red red hair and a hand me down cloak. You must be a Weasley. Man, you I was way off. But <laughs> I had this I had You're the, in the ballpark. I had the gist. <laughs> All right. So he will Yeah. Here it is. So um let's go in. Yeah, let's go. Great idea. Hmm. Roll initiative. <laughs> Storm the house. Uh, can I make a, an investigation to see if there is perhaps tracks leading to an alternate entrance to the house? Uh, it's more of a perception because you can't really go around and look, you know, unless you want to actually go to the other side and start, you know, pawing around the, the building. Um, if you're just at first glance, yeah. First glance, then. All right. Persuasion won't help <clears throat> me. Perception. I have rolled a five. Hmm. Well, there are windows. Ha! Ah! I knew it. At a door. <laughs> <laughs> so, can we wait for him? All right. So he will show you into the um, first little vestibule. And say, oh, um, can I take your cloaks? <clears throat> um, I, I prefer to keep mine on if that's all right. I don't have one. You can take yeah. mine. I think I think we're good, thank you, Ernst. Oh, sure, that's fine. Oh, I'll, I'll keep it then. Uh, so then you will, you will open up yep. Come on, uh, a large staircase room with doors on either side. Peter. Sorry. Yep. Just so you know, I'm keeping Arena very very close at all times. Okay. I know she's not on the board, but just just for purposes of yeah, generally what we're I'll doing. I'll put her on though. She is certainly with there, you guys. There is this spell? could be a very bad idea. Could be. So there's a staircase leading up to a balcony. At the foot of the stairs is a landing with three stained glass doors and wooden frames here. Before we go any further, are we trying to do this quietly? Or are We're we... guests. But guests, okay. Yeah. Hello. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Just she's over. She'll probably be over to the left here. Um, I'll, I'll open up. Uh, 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 Lady Voxter. Um, I follow those people like you asked. Um, but turns out one of them um is like a really good friend of mine. Um, <laughs> from I don't. I guess yeah. She's just she's good. So. They told me to bring them here, so I did. So here they are. <laughs> uh, Peter, I am standing okay. by with a, a, a to kill this man. 
if this spell drops no. in any way at all. Okay, D noted. He will he open has, this door, he, step up the stairs, and gesture in for you he guys. He has a written apology. He wouldn't kill us. Ernst is <laughs> we a don't good know man. him. I mean, if, if the spell drops and it turns out he's an assassin. He's a great boy. I think he'd tell me if he was an assassin. We go way back. <laughs> and At yes, least there are um, 20 minutes. three elegant couches here surrounding an oval table made of black glass. All are set in front of a blazing hearth, above which hangs a portrait of a smirking nobleman sporting a broken nose and a tangle of hair graying at the temples. Several smaller portraits hang on the north wall. And you see, sitting here, the figure of Lady Fiona Wachter. She looks like a vampire. <laughs> More importantly, is there food on this table? Um, there is now. <laughs> Let us see. Let us. Um, yeah. So, just a little description of this area. It's an ornate dining dining table stretching the length of the room. There is a crystal chandelier hanging above it imperiously. The silverware is tarnished. The dishes are chipped, yet all still quite elegant. The chairs have backs adorned with sculpted elk horns. Uh, the arched windows of the uh, make a lattice work of iron and glass look out into a small fog swept estate area beyond. Lady right. Fiona Wachter herself again is possessed of very sharp features. She sits on the couch, her back straight, looking forward to you. And you see an interesting creature curled around her neck somewhat ape-like but red pointed ears wings and a barbed tail curled around and sleeping around her neck interesting what, what would the check be to determine what kind of creature this is that would be a religion check something maybe I can do nope I rolled an eight <laughs> Yeah, you're not quite sure. Not not would that I, kind of religion. Would I know if this is a, a natural beast or not? Hmm. Um, make a nature check. Uh, so I, can I make a check? 16. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I didn't hear you ask to do one. You can do a, mm. um, religion if you'd like. 18. 18? This is a devilish creature it looks to be an imp all right her neck interesting and she will stand and sort of straighten her formal gown that she is wearing and then um suddenly you will see this thing disappear and you'll hear oh wasn't expecting you just an illusion to impress guests though you never know who's gonna come through my front door mm. Pleasure to meet you all. Imps make great illusions. Lady Fiona, oh, indeed they do. Clever. A studied one yourself? Hmm. Pleased to meet your acquaintance. Um, hi. Um, we, uh, we met your, your friend out there. Um, he was sent to follow us? Ernst, I believe his name was. Yes. Oh, did he tell you that? How wonderful. Yes, I, I did have to do uh, something. I'm A little something. He might, probably won't be very happy with me. Um, you know how old friends are. Um, oh, of course. Um... Have you met my sons, by the way? She kind of claps her hands. Boys, would you come down? My DM. <laughs> I look to Claire like, um, oh no. DM. Yeah. It's okay. Are there windows in this room? There, I believe so. There was um, actually, yes, out. there are some here. Boom, boom, and boom. Are and they open, shuttered, well. drawn? What is the light source? It is stained glass. There is also a chandelier 
above the table that is lit, and there is a blazing fire in this hearth. Um, but there's no direct sunlight in this room? Uh, I guess this area doesn't get much sun. No, not really, and it's pretty cloudy. It's okay. been cloudy pretty much every day. I will actually... Um, I'll You'll hear some footsteps on the stairs. So actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait until they show up. Okay. You see two men, sort of saunter into the room, wearing Wind. breastplates. Both swords at their sides, and kind of lean against the wall. One sits down on the couch. One leans against the wall. There is some intense attitude here, but also there seem to be. Uh, big dark circles under their eyes. This are my sons, Carl and Nikolai. They kind Hello, of Carl. just Maybe nod. Your acquaintance. Pleasure. I am Gesualdo Dagarembo La Tomba del Fuego Santa Maldiva Zacatega de Jode de Salicruzi de la Rosa at your service. Ah, oh, impressive. Uh, Claire yes. Vitale? Hardly. Uh, is 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 Maris with us? She is not. She's she not. Okay. Not. Good. Good to know. Um. <clears throat> yeah. So we. Uh, I guess our sort of collective curiosity was piqued by your own curiosity, seeing as you're, you're talking in circles, girl. Please speak plainly. I, why I are am you following us? Plainly. I'm, I'm curious as to why why you're interested in us, and I'm curious about you and why you'd be interested. Hmm. I need to know about everyone who comes to town. You see? I have interest. Yes, you as are the, the second most wealthy person in town. And, well, I need to yes, know. Ernst keep up on that you business be in charge. And things. What's that? Ernst believes that you should be in charge, not the the Baron. Burgomaster. Ernst, Burgermaster. have you said that? We will have to have a talk about that. It was kind of out of his control, you see. What do you mean by that? She's very Come, persuasive. <laughs> hmm. All right, I think it's about time you told me what you're doing in my home. Well, we're wondering if you're an ally of ours. That was... An time. ally of yours? <laughs> of yes. yours? Well, ours. You misunderstand the question, dearie. Are you an ally of mine? I, I hope so. I think um, maybe a better way to put it is um, we want to make sure that we're not in danger, and since you had someone following us, that's... You know, some might read that as a threat, but since Ernst was so nice and kind and invited us, spoke very highly of you, it seemed um, a waste to not come meet you and see maybe whether our attitudes and interests were aligned. Hmm. You take bold actions for one who wants to avoid danger. Oh, I, I, I'm not really in the avoid danger category. That's just a sort of a collective decision. Hmm. Well. So. You think you can be of use? Well, it would depend on what it is you want. As he says. Yeah, we're not really sure on your Interest. goals or motives, really. Aren't you? But I presume they align. Eyebrow raise. So, you've seen the state that this town is in. These damn festivals and whatnot. This town could be so much better. It could be so much more prosperous if the people weren't wasting their time over these celebrations and all will be well all these things yes. yes you've seen how it weighs upon the minds of the people how it pulls yes. them down into the very mud yes you've seen it 
Indeed. This could be remedied. It could be so easily remedied. But... Hmm. He holds such powerful force in his hands, the Burgomaster does. How could it be remedied? And what sort of force do you talk about? That brute. That sociopath, Isaac. If only he weren't around, things could change oh so readily. This is the only stumbling block in making Vlaki happy again. Um, okay, so at this point, with all three of them in the room, I would like to use Divine Sense. Uh oh Um, so detect good and evil, sense anything um, affected by Hallow Spell, or know of location of any celestial fiend or undead within 60 feet. Okay, you sense a location of a fiend okay. on the chandelier. I'm gonna take a quick quick peek you see nothing interesting okay well if um if isak is the only stumbling block to the Lockies' happiness and return to normal. Um, what would you do if someone were to accomplish that? <laughs> what is it that you need? And what is your greater purpose here? That is actually a pretty good question. <laughs> <laughs> Um, to tell you the truth, um, my friend is actually, um, not dishonest when he says that he's not sure. Um, we all appeared here, um, not of our own accord, um, seemingly dropped in here, um, by some sort of magic or power beyond us, and we are kind of trying to find our way around, um figure out how we might A, survive, B, um, be comfortable, and C, perhaps return from whence we came. Um, that would be, I guess, our larger <laughs> purpose here. Sure. Oh, do you not believe me? My dear, surely you know no one leaves Barovia. Oh, I've heard that no one believes Barovia. But that doesn't mean I can't try to figure it out. Anyway. So. You've hinted so. that you're about to accomplish something for me, but I don't know what your end goals are. What favor would you ask of me? Look around the group. Ideas. Anyone? Take care of this weak mm. one. I point at Arena. I kicked sorry. <laughs> uh, we, we Why does she need taking care, taking care of? She's... Well, we lack information on some things, and we need to find a safe space until we can find that information. Oh. So vague, all of you. Come out with it. If I'm right, you are about to make me the most powerful person in the city. What can I do for you? And why? Um, I, I was okay. <laughs> I'm not used to asking favors from powerful people. <laughs> well, if you are the most powerful person in the city, then who would then be the second most powerful? Perhaps it could be all of us. You would certainly have earned your keep. We could stick around, make sure that the new management goes smoothly. If 
problems you have could be taken care of, perhaps not necessarily directly attributed to you. Problems would just sort of go away. In return, mm. you make sure that we have plenty of food, plenty of drink, plenty of entertainment, plenty of prosperity that you claim will come to this city. Um, Done. Just as a point of curiosity, I would like to try to make an insight check as far as her like intent for Velaki. If that's all right. Sure. And I rolled an eight again, so no. <laughs> no. There's a I'm, I'm intensity behind her eyes. She is determined. That much you get. But and I am serious. We are very deadly people. And we have no morals whatsoever. I mean, uh, uh, who needs them? You need a woman killed? Done. Child killed? Done. Pets? All of them. I we could do this for you. I feel he's Quite saying good. that. <laughs> would that be something you would be interested in? Well, Let's start with the actual threats at the moment. The rest of that, don't think is entirely necessary. I give Jeswaldo a really, really intense look. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I mean, but, I like- But you would not be opposed to it if it should become necessary. For you, the power is the important thing. I just want to make sure we're on the same page. I don't believe she wants to make any unneeded harshness or cruelty. I want you very good, my dear. Your dress is beautiful, by the way. Thank you. And may I say, I want to do this so that those things won't be necessary anymore. Anymore? They're necessary now? Apparently. You know that monster Isek has been, well, Surely you know. You seem to have the same opinion of him that I do. It does seem like he has been abusing or using the kids as slaves. I mean, they were gathering sticks until that mother basically carried them along. Yes, and you'll see the result of that tomorrow. Pitiful. Interesting. So. I will say, I am a little bit curious if i if i may be candid and you don't have to tell me but something was mentioned about a basement <laughs> Spe <laughs> special meetings that's my reading club yes a reading club mm -hmm. i read the book once it was green <laughs> <laughs> i have not well Reading anything good right now? Well, we only read good things. Do I believe that it's you. really a reading club? <laughs> Go ahead and make a uh, insight check. Yeah, I want to do that yes. as well. <laughs> the creepy woman with the imp is hosting a reading club. I rolled a nine! Facebook. What the hell? <laughs> I really, I really, I'm I'm so dense to check today. Out. Is will you permit other people to make inside checks? <laughs> um, I got yes, an eleven. Can I join the book club? <laughs> I want to get in on this quality <laughs> Barovian literature. <laughs> and a natural I bet one they're reading fun. that green book. You guys have stumbled upon <laughs> the classiest house in Barovia. <laughs> I rolled a Sorry, you get one. us out of this mess. <laughs> Faint strains of NPR and BBC start uh, <laughs> fluttering through the floorboards, and yeah, it's, it's been a quiet week at Hey Wow! Well, then. Oh my God! <laughs> okay. Sounds like we have an arrangement. Yeah, we could. Uh... I could check out this this Isaac fellow. Ernst, would you come here for a moment? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
and then you'll head over next to her. So kind of look at him. And, uh, oops, where am I here? I'm so nervous. He betrayed you very easily. <laughs> hmm. And she will look up and begin to speak some arcane um, Ooh, what is it? words Fireball. in his direction and reach out and touch him. And he... <laughs> they charmed me! And he'll point in your direction. Wait, open the letter. No. Please. The sons will. <laughs> the sons will draw swords. She will stand up and you will see... <laughs> The uh, suddenly the chandelier above you starts jingling. Everything we said is true. We do want to be on your side. They don't seem interested in talking anymore. Oh shit! As the one son steps and slams the door shut, and you heard Fiona, Fiona uh, yell, "Friends, to me! We have oh, business to attend to." And we will pick up there when we next gather. Oh, that went south. <laughs> I thought we made a very compelling argument. That Apparently you did. Not compelling enough. But she cast a spell on him, and yeah, that was beforehand. So what if I charmed him? He was following us. It's no big deal. She we should've, does we should've not. Should have eaten him. Like mind mm. control, maybe. Maybe Which not. Is reasonable. We don't like being followed. I, think, the... I thought we told her that we charmed him. No, we it, didn't. It wasn't quite clear exactly I, I what hinted. we did. Yeah. I, oh. I hinted at it. alluded to it. So she's it. stupid and didn't realize. Okay. Oh it's all right. No, this this is for the best. This way we don't have to pretend to be bad guys. And to yeah. be honest, you guys were being <laughs> the opposite of inconspicuous in that meeting. <laughs> You um, had every opportunity to leave. <laughs> is this, is this your way of telling we should stop screwing around or we're going to No, die? no, no. It's fine. It's fine. It, I, it's a, I actually, it goes one I way or another. Out, I don't know if I'm dumb, but I couldn't figure out if she was good or evil. So I just thought that maybe she was good because she said, I don't want kids to die. So I was like, <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no, I, I got bad vibes off of her. Bad Anybody who's got around. an imp for a friend can't yeah. be good. What? I don't know. But I real okay, so my goal next session just... after we defend ourselves um is to go down into the basement and raid their books. Because <laughs> oh, clearly yeah. if these if this book club is all it's cracked up to be, they've gotta have some good shit down there. <laughs> Maybe sorry if we'll learn to read. <gasps> Teach hmm. That's the, all of next session is going to be teaching sorry how to read. First of all, the entire care session. Too. The entire session. He has more important things to do. Like eating spiders. <laughs> that's incidental. That's um that's for fun. Oh, okay. He yeah. loves spider pops though. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be well, on the lookout to make you some more cast, of those. Was it uh Limus brand spider pops? I think so, I yeah. I think it was. The what sorry? The it spider pops light? from last session. You yeah. cast like freezing something or other. Ice knife oh, or yes. something. I don't know what you did. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, he would buy nibbles. What a time. Yeah. Thanks well, thanks, watching, guys, everyone. for uh, tuning in, all of you that came along. We will um, be resuming next week, and we will see mm -hmm. that they haven't attacked the characters yet. They are tipped off to something else happening. So Whoa. we'll see what, uh, mm -hmm. how the situation resolves in the Wachter house here. And uh, yeah. Hope you can join us. See what happens. Uh, yeah. Just a reminder: our other favorite show on Lawful Stupid RPG, The Sent Into Avernus, hosted by our wonderful Sean here, is playing now on Monday nights at five o'clock. For the time being, we have uh, some schedule conflicts that may not last for very long. They may. Uh, we will be in discussions to see whether or not it's a permanent move. But Monday nights, um, Eastern at 5 p.m. Yep. Beautiful. And we've also, I think we've got air off on Sunday as well, so. Awesome. Um, so, yeah. Uh, cheers, so guys. Thank you very much for watching. 
Really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think I'm struggling without many. I mean, at the moment. Yeah. Come <laughs> hang out at our Discord too. Come up. Come yeah. check out Lawful Stupid. There's a lot of people looking for games, looking to uh, have some fun and just you know. Well, we're trying to get the kicks... creative legs. Yeah, so. we're trying to get the Discord kickstarted again. You know, uh, we've got some exciting news coming up about sponsorship as well. So. Uh, which is going to be very, very good. I've mentioned it briefly to some of the people in here. Um, so, yeah, we've got a lot to come. So, hopefully, uh, see you guys again soon. All right. Cheers, guys. See ya. See ya. Bye.